they tantalize. They tantalize, right? Tantalize. They 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 tantalize. Get, get, get. Are we live? Yeah. Right now? Hold on a second. What's going on here? Okay, now go. Right now? Go on. We good now. Do what you need to you do. You sure? Go. Right. Talk. Here. Friday? Now. Smackdown. Say it. Watch long. What's up? What's going on? Say it. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy. Oh. <gasps> Time out. Yo! Tales of the Missing Title. No one wants to hear that in their ear. Tales of the Missing Title. We cannot do the opening unless the tile's on the shelf. So I do it all the time. What? If you're not here, how am I going to do the opening? In the meantime, what have, what would you do in, if, in the case of when you're waiting? What do you do? You know what they have? It's called Muzak. Games. It's called Muzak. But what's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the YouTube champ, Tantalize and Tony, and me, KK, the producer, Kira. And of course, on screen, my very own Paul Heyman, Triple B. Big Bucks Bobby. Barely Bucks Bobby. Barely Bucks Bobby. <laughs> hey, this we doing roll call? No. Why not? Because these people, when you guys come into the room, mm -hmm. you got to like and you got to comment. Uh -huh. You have to interact. Hi, Ashley. What's come up, on. Dion? Grace, how you doing? Dad, we're, Jen, we're not getting any Lorraine, work how you doing? Behavior. Okay, Mick, what's up? We got super chats. Dion with the double super chats. Let's go right there. Two super chats to start off. Two super stickers from Dion. So he gets a double the pleasure, double your fun. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Magnificent Mikey. And thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding, ding. Thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding, ding. What a baby he was. He was a baby. Let's do that one again. Where did this kid come from? The way he adds something <laughs> after every version <laughs> is hilarious. Yo, look who's back. Yankee Nation oh. has not been here still for so long. What's up, Yankee Nation? I remember you. Good to see you, bro. We're almost at 10,000. Welcome back. Start sharing. What's up? Yankee Nation with a super sticker so mm -hmm. early. Let's go. We're starting off right. What? His arm, too. <laughs> Guys, in case you don't know, you never seen Yankee Nation. He was here from the beginning. The, did, you, did you just hit the microphone? No. So, Yankee Nation, the last time you here, did it look as good as this? The, the lovely microphones, the set? Let Yankee Nation talk. We're doing great, buddy. Hi, cool gamer. Good to see you. What do you think there, um, Yankee Nation, on the, um, the new set? You know, we got graphics, video graphics. We got brand new microphones. We're, we're, we're next level, okay? We don't get invited to. We don't get invited to the to the uh, you know, press conference. press conferences. You know, but hey, you know, 
Can we get into what's happening tonight before we run out of time? We only got what? Six minutes? Yeah. Six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie Fresh. You're on. Uh, uh, on. Uh, oh, oh, time out. We got to take on. care of business. See, Lorraine, <laughs> see? The lovely the Dahlia. What's up? Dahlia, did you get your shirt? Please tell me yes. Dahlia. Did Dahlia get her shirt? What's she? I don't know. Dahlia. Hopefully you did. Um. Lorraine, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much for the nine and nine. Lorraine's been supporting the channel from for a long time too. Day one, very close to me. She's very um and close to the family. She's always looking out for us. So of course she gets a super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy Magnificent Mikey, and thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding ding. Thank you so much for the super chat. kid's awesome. Yeah. We get another super chat. We'll do it live. He got the shirt. Hey, yeah. yes. Hey, Dolly, if you don't mind, take a picture and put it on um Instagram, please, and tag me. What's up, Ryan? Good to see you. Peace and love to you, Lee Major. She says she got him. That's great. Oh, <laughs> Slants, we got your shirt. Trust me. You didn't give me your address. Guys, this is a member of the Samoan Dynasty. He's probably on his way to the gym, so when I ask him to come in, we do have his email address. Let's just send him one just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to get sick of you. I'm going to send one. If you can't come, he can't come, but I always send one just in case. Um, so you remember that? You remember? Uh, try. Uh, you know what? We might not. <laughs> Let's just go through all of it. It's on my phone. Anyway, um, he's probably on his way to the gym, but I will have your shirt for you next time I see you, sir. Um, <laughs> gotta search. But thank you for coming in. It's so cool when, uh, sometimes I think about it and I'm like, these these people are a big deal and they're and they know us. Yeah. Well, oh. you, I'm just it's in the shadows. With, with a B. Oh, we can't right now. Okay, good. I'm just in the shadows, but I I always try to get you, bro. But you know, I know you're always busy. But don't worry, you will have your shirt. Don't worry. Not to, we got did you did we show the merch? We have like bins. Not like bins. Bins. Yeah, we got full you, bro. Of merch. But guys, if you don't know, this is Roman's cousin, um, Uso's cousin. Basically, I I don't I'm not gonna say this. Got you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know what? Oh, I forgot about BCW. Let me ask you a question. Do you think we see some new bloodline members at WrestleMania in WrestleMania? You know what? Because the, the rumor, what I've heard is Jacob Fatu. I've heard that rumor. I love Jacob Fatu. But but here's my thing. If they bring in Jacob Fatu, what about Zilla Fatu? If they're bringing Zilla Fatu, what about Lance? Lance is the young, he's the you young keep one. Going. I'm just saying, like what I'm thinking this. I'm thinking, what if Roman has a faction and Rock has a faction? You know, because Cody's not the story. Okay, I'm sorry. I was gonna say, I'm in like the mindset where I feel like WWE. Well, I, this is what I used to think. I used to think that WWE kind of uh, does not associate themselves with other people in other companies, kind of like Disney Channel, and Nickelodeon. But now with like TKO and everything that's going on, and they're like dipping their toe in like every industry or whatever mm -hmm. and they put their names on the family tree that the mm -hmm. rock showed that's the thing he named everybody and lance was on that tree very lance bottom was on that tree at the bottom because he's one of the younger ones but the younger ones is where the the, the roots are that's where the the, the 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 hardest the toughest part of the tree is the trunk oh. so so do we see a jacob fetu or russell do we see roman turn do we see rock turn on roman does the family implode? I'm not trying to say against the family because, listen, I'm I'm the ultimate. I'm the ten lies and noose, and I was named that. I am the ten lies and noose. I'm just saying, I I I'm more down on the Roman side of things where I think the Rock might be a little jealous. I can't make any predictions. He might be jelly. I'm always wrong, so I'ma just sit back and enjoy the ride. Ever blessed, Ronda Rousey ain't never coming back. Boo. And we don't want her back. And I'll tell it to her face at WrestleCon. Um, Here we go. I'm sorry. Just okay, it's. Bridging 859. Shout out to the best man in the business, Ruda. The guy. He's my partner. He's my dude. He's my friend. He's my brother. Let's go. Get, get into it. You we didn't it. even get into any of the stuff, and it's already coming One on. more thing. One more thing. Sorry. We're Pre not going to be able to do up? it. Sorry. Stephen Chambers' mom had a stroke. Oh. So prayers for your mom. Um, We'll pray for her, Stephen. Yes. We're with you, bro. We love you. Of course. Of course. Shout out to Ashley. What's up, Ashley? Of course. Of course. Go. Okay, speed round, everybody. We speed got the, the tag team qualifiers match for the ladder match. I go with the Street yeah, Profits. Street Profits better make it. We need them in WrestleMania. I'm going with Theory and Austin. I'm going with Theory and Austin as well. Theory I mean, and Austin. Theory, Theory and Waller. Waller. Um, uh, um, Santos. Um, what's, what's the name of it? What's the name of the thing? 
something. A town down under. A town down under. I'm going with Santos. This match is going to be a schmoz. We're going to see Lel Delgado Fantasma versus LW WrestleMania. I call it. Yeah, I feel like I didn't call it. Naomi and we know this is schmoz too. This is what gets them the tag team title match. Oscar's hurt, so we don't know. We get Bianca maybe tonight. Yes, we do get Bianca. All right. Oh, and, and Jade, face. Jade is in town too. And with, it's time. Face, face to, to face. face. Finally. Does The Rock show? No. Okay. <laughs> the Rock, did you know The Rock came out with his own like skincare line? Yeah, no, it's called Tui, something Tui, something. It's Hawaiian. Top, top of Tui? Or top of, uh, top, I don't want to butcher it. Rudy, I already butchered it. Rudy, Rudy Pooty. Um, Thomas Akers, the only man in this chat, in this nation, who is a two time, two time cancer survivor. We love you, bro. Um, Ricky Salvador, all the way from Isis Channel. Of course, the Demon Diva. I love her too. It's Ricky, tell her we said hi. Man, I'm hot. I'm, I'm on fire tonight. Oh my, my god. My daughter, my lovely daughter. My Yeet. lovely daughter with the best hair in the business. Uh, other, she does have the best hair. Got, you, you can't. Her and Angel, real close, but she got it. Thank you for the yeet. Thank you. My daughter gave me money at my time. <laughs> Send it right back to her. Send it right back. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Magnificent Mikey. And thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. So, guys, you see that shot of um, Lincoln Financial? I'm going to have a shot of that as well. I'm going to buy me a drone. 15 days until WrestleMania? That's insane. Tomorrow will be two weeks away. Look two weeks. Yeah, it's not like it. Milwaukee got snow. Two weeks away tomorrow. That is insanity. Insan insanity. I feel like I was just in L.A. And everybody, once again, prayers to Stephen Chambers' mom who had a stroke. Our prayers are with you, bro. Oh, wait. Look at time Cody was here, 315. Just... Early. Well. Well, you know. Well. You got to be there. Roman was there early only because he was on Pat McAfee's show. And I tuned in oh, just oh, oh. when she, they were how she, goodbye. Is she walking good? I mean, she's leaning on her suitcase, so how could you tell? But at least she's walking. Oscar, that is. You think they kick? You think they kick out Dakota Kai? No. If they kick out Dakota Kai, they have no like. How are they going to do promos? And they have no. They have no translator. <laughs> All right, let's give me some volume in here. Yeah, this they've got to further this this one on one with them, Cody and um and Roman, because basically the tag team match has been the forefront. Rey Mysterio starting it off. Interesting. Here comes Ray. Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah, so guys, Ronda R Rousey apparently made a comment that um, the WWE is a S show, a SH show. I heard she, is that what you're talking about in her book? Yeah. Yeah, I heard she buried WWE in her book. Well, you know what? I'm going to try, I'm going to make an attempt at WrestleCon to ask her a question. You do you. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Maybe she'll shut me down. So we got Ray Mysterio, guys. Dad coming to the ring. Deadbeat dad at its finest. At its finest. And guys, don't forget, you see, you see the Victoria merch, guys? That's right. Victoria Crawford, a.k.a. Alicia Fox, formerly known as Alicia Fox, will be at WrestleCon with me, Kira, Ruta, the whole tantalizing team, Big Bucks Bob, Big Bucks Bobby. Santos Escobar. Oh. That's how I say his name now. That's how you're supposed to say it. What about what about this for, for WrestleMania? Santos Escobar versus Escobar. Rey Escobar. Escobar versus Rey Mysterio. Hair versus mask. I would much rather see that with Dom and Ray. Well, Dom's gonna retire him eventually. Um, I feel like if he loses his mask, he has to retire because of the kids. If you guys remember this, when he first turned he, face, I always said, you can't trust Santos Escobar. Did you see any of the text messages I sent you? Not really. Yeah, I saw the lineup for, uh, I saw it all. The lineup for World. A lot of stuff going on. They have a tattoo pavilion. Yeah. Maybe we'll get your tattoo. N no, because my next tattoo, if it's going to be at WWE, it's got to be Rhea's 
Oh, excuse me. Rhea is the Judgment Day skill. Yeah, match versus hair. I'm, I'm telling you, it'll be a good match. But I, it's going to be. But it's going to be faction against faction, as you can tell. I like the I like the new um packages. They're banned from ringside. They're banned from ringside before the match. After the match is over. I mean during the match. And just because they're banned doesn't mean they still can't show up and start some trouble. Then it'll be a disqualification. Um, Michael, never say never because when he retires, he might drop his master's son. Dom will never wear a mask. Look at that graphic. He's too pretty to wear a mask. Santos Escobar is a star. Yes. We got to bring about the European title. What? Yeah. Where'd you get that from? We need another title. What? No. <laughs> you, see his, you see his jacket? It says LDF. Like Otto Del Fantasma. But it's, but it's like the LWO logo. I can't. I don't see it. Oh, I didn't. I love when they start to show off with the match. Just get right into it. What's up, Coldest? Cody, how you doing? Oh, the slogan is... Here we go. Rey Mysterio. Starting off hot. Jessica Carr, one of the best referees ever. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica Carr, very nice very woman. Nice. She lost a lot of weight, too. Look at her. She's on a fitness journey. Yeah. Did you see? She looks great. She says she's working to be in her best shape for WrestleMania. She looks great. I'd like to see her, her have the main event. Let's get a woman have a main event. Oh, oh. you messed that up, buddy. It's okay. Sell it. Sell Bounce it. back. Bounce back. Oh, oh, no. That is not. No way. He's not hurt. He's not hurt. He's playing it off. Rey Mysterio bounced off the ropes a little weird. And he's selling nice, nice the cover. ankle, the knee. The knee. Good cover. Santos only a 78. That's a bad move. That'll that'll definitely up. bump up by next year, hopefully. Definitely, hopefully. <laughs> no, I, I think they need to bring another title to the European. I think a hardcore title is just like, yo, his knees. What are you doing? Oh, I, my gosh. I'm starting to think that Ray might really be hurt. Look. Um. If you twisted your ankle, would you be no, doing? He, he didn't twist it. I think that his knee's a little weak. Look. Well, he's he's getting up there in age. He's fifty. Is he fifty? <laughs> he must be fifty, right? Yeah, I think the hardcore title will be too close to the twenty four seven title, Yankee Nation. But great question. It's good to have you back, man. Don't be such a stranger. You've been here from the beginning. L W no. The lose the loser world order. I don't like Zelina Vega. A lot of people call it. Yo, Rey Mysterio is still... Oh, nice back elbow. Rey Mysterio is still fast for his age. How old is Rey Mysterio? I'm going to say 49. Hey, hey, Siri, how old is Rey Mysterio? Rey Mysterio is 49 years old. 49. I know my backstory from my dom-dom, okay? A woman has never made it in WrestleMania? Not true. Uh, no. Ron Bianca. Ronda. Ronda. Becky. Charlotte. Charlotte. Bianca, Bianca and Sasha. 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 It should have been Rhea last year, but. Should have been. Rhea and Charlotte. Charlotte, then that would have made Charlotte's first two women twice back, whatever. You know what I mean. First woman to main event, WrestleMania twice. Yeah, bring, like Ruta said, bring back the European title. Hey, Black Cowboy. I seriously. No I'll on Instagram to meet Nate. Oh, all right. What's up? That Black was Cowboy? a while back. That was a while back. That was off <laughs> September. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Ray! I'm gonna need you to get your calculations. Yankee Nation, no shame. You left. You came back. That's all that matters. You're not like you. Not like you're unsubscribed. So thanks for coming back. And, and listen, Black Cowboys, it's always great meeting the fans. I mean, a lot. We met a lot of nice people at um the big event. Did we not? The big event, honestly, it was a good deal. Was it? It, it was smaller than the last time we went, mm -hmm, but, but better. Yeah. So I think the last, I think the setup, the way they had it at the last place was better. Yeah. But and fancier because it was in a hotel. But this was easier accessibly. It was easily. Blah, it was easy to access. 
And being that we met a lot of nice people, not to mention Rosa Mendez was very nice to us, right? She was. Barbie, nice. a.k.a. Kelly Kelly. Very Not nice. to mention Mickey James said tantalizing, which is the best thing I ever heard in my life. Guys, you realize that Trish Stratus gave me the rub. Now Mickey James gave me the rub. Ah, come on, Trish guys. Stratus. You need to work on Trish Stratus because she didn't know. She loved me. She, she touched my face. Oh, my gosh. Rhea added to her story. Oh, boy. I got my notifications on for her. Okay. Oh, she's home. You know, we're going to be doing some shows. So my last day of work is the 28th. And um, what's up, Jason? Jason's on Twitch tonight. What's up? Would I rather have the European or light heavyweight? Definitely European. Hey, big box. Light heavyweight? What's the... Yo. Could you grab me the um European title, please? The European title, the only face-to-face I'm looking forward to. Fin- yeah, listen, let's not talk about that yet. Yes, AJ, everybody's asking a question about AJ Francis. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, so here's the thing. Can, can you give me a Paul Heyman? Look at that. Look at that. The best Paul Heyman in the business. Look at that. The European title. Step up, kid. And guys, if you're in Philly tomorrow, Ruta, myself, Big Bucks Bobby, the producer Kira, we will be at the TNA show at 2300 Arena. Where's your face, Bobby? You just caught up by the smack. Now, there it is. Bring back this title. Beat it. Um, so my last day at work, no, not last day, like for vacation, is next Thursday. So we'll be having content that night. Bobby, Yankee Nation, say what's up. You've been in from the beginning. Um, oh, Dom is here. Um, next Thursday, we have a, we're going to have some content at night. Not to mention, from WrestleMania, from that night on, we'll be live or have a show every day. Up until, up until April third, which will be in Philly for Sam Roberts' show at the Helium Comedy Club, we're gonna report on that. And then Thursday, the fourth is World with Cody Rhodes. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's WrestleCon and WrestleMania Raw on Monday. And then Tuesday, the ninth, big show recapping everything. It'll probably be like four hours long. We're probably going to be at World all day on Thursday. Look at Roman's new shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a family. I saw it already. Sorry, I care. I'm still of you. Just because I don't say things, I saw it. Okay. I don't care. I I like to oh. give you news. Oh. What, care? what do you have to show me? Okay, so he has a new shirt. It says family over above all. Oh, wow. Why don't you show it to them? I feel I was. I feel like it's Why just don't copy. You put it up there on the screen. No. It's copy and paste with him. With his, with his merch. Jeez. We'll we'll get up there for you so you guys can see it. You guys can see it. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to do things better than the rest of these channels. This is why God, these guys what this is why is these this? guys are at the press conference and we're here. Explain this to me. We're the only father daughter wrestling podcast and we're not in. What are you doing? Kind of fix the mic. You gotta tighten it. No, I gotta move it first. <laughs> Double knees from Santos. Lorraine Bobby said hi. I mean Bobby Lorraine said hi. LW no. LW no. What are they saying? He said, I loved you. Oh, nice. Let's go, Ray. Let's go, Ray. Boo. Oh, boy, that's dumb. Deadbeat dad. Terrell, first day of spring was the 19th. <laughs> Oh, my God. He took the Bret Hart to the face. Monday in Chicago. CM Punk's going to blow it up. Next Friday is sold out. What, is Rock going to be there? Wow. Again? Oh, he said, I'm not going to stop. Oh, oh, what a kick to the nether regions. Wow. Oh, I missed it. I was looking at the comments. 
Oh my gosh, Thank Rey you, Mysterio Ricky. from the top post. I'm gonna talk about AJ Prince's next commercial, guys. Top post from the corner post. Corner post. What is with these wrestlers and putting their life on the line? Like, like listen, he's at 49. You got nothing to lose. And people, you know, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make a, a few um comments, personal comments in a little while about some inboxes I've been getting, about some some um comments have been made. About how deadbeat of a dad right is. Well, I'm not <laughs> deadbeat, that's for sure. Your portfolio's back. What gee, what's all oh, the names from the past coming back? A blast from the past. Kick him. Nice basement drop kick. Uh oh, springboard moonsault. Wee, that was really pretty, Ray. That was Uno, a good moonsault. Dos. Why do you put his hands on his hip like that? Gary Gonzalez, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Hit those likes, everybody. Share the channel. Let's get let's get up there tonight. We're fourteen days away. Um, excuse me, fifteen days away from WrestleMania. With uh, thirteen days away from um. Excuse me, check that. 14 days away from WrestleCon with myself, Ruta, Big Bucks Bobby, the producer Karen, the star of the show, Victoria Crawford. You missed the opportunity. The star of the show, Vix Crow. Oh, sorry. Come on. It's going to be awesome. Please come to my table, Gary. I don't think we're doing um NXT. We're not, what, staying in delivery, mean? Yeah. No, you mean going? I, nothing with it. No, we're not going. No, we're not going. And we're not going to we're probably not going to SmackDown either. Hopefully we do go to SmackDown. Well, we'll see. If someone's selling tickets outside. No, we're gonna wait till the last minute to see what happens. We have to see what what, what Victoria gotta... wants to do. Because that's the night she that's the night. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll see if she wants to hang out. So might be hanging out with the big wig, you know, but but the boss. So look at Ray looking looking a little thick. Um, what's his name? Ray Mysterio clearing off the announce table. What are you doing? The heck was that? They're going all out. Ray just threw himself oh, onto. The... Yeah, tell me you get there, Gary. Um, onto Santos through the barricade. I'll be at the. I may show up at the block party, bro. That's what you want to do. He said, where's your smile? Yeah, this WrestleMania is looking up to be the truly the biggest WrestleMania of all this time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do a lot of there'll be a lot of um videos coming up called WrestleMania um what I call it WrestleMania breakdowns. Oh we have a WrestleMania breakdown videos, like five minute videos on what's going on, focus on a match. We still got to record our podcast, we may do it tonight. You didn't even what? get a small hoodie for me. <laughs> look, look, look. Dom Dom. Wow. Dom Dom. With the mask. I should have. Dom, why don't you tell me ahead of time so I could record it? Dom Dom. Dirty Dom. It's not wow. over. It's not over. Oh, guys. I didn't tell you guys we had a special guest tonight because I wasn't sure what time they were coming. But give me a second. He's backstage. We'll wait till this happens right here. Phantom Driver, one, two, good night. The deadbeat loses, Kira. How about that? Yeah. Ray, look at that, the real guy, Dominic. So listen, guys, I told you something. I've been talking about this channel for a couple of days now since last week, right? So, Kira, what's the right one? That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Kira. Rewind, recap, relive, So wrestling. Interview. Yeah, they're 14,000 subscribers. So we met Jeremy and Jonah last week at we his, let me back story. We met a long time ago, but because I have 18 concussions, I didn't remember exactly. But then it, he reminded me, hey, we met. I said, okay, we did. So look, they were gracious enough to deal with my craziness all last week at um the big event. And I wanted you guys to meet my peoples. So we're gonna be doing do, we'll be doing some collaborating. Um, like I said, and let's keep this hundred. He knows what he's doing. When you get and the up in the the we put the sorry guys we put this up in the chat earlier the link um 
Hold on, it's all the way to the top. I will put it there for you. Give me one second. I feel like it would have been faster if you just you don't tell me again. what to do. There is the link right there, guys. Click that link. I tell you guys this last week. Subscribe. So, without further ado, from tell it, do it, Kira. From the rewind, recap, relive. I mean, guys. <laughs> yeah. Wrestling. What I didn't an, know how to finish it. What an intro! Thank you so much. Hey, you know. uh, no, that was awesome. Sadly, you know, just me, no Jeremy this time. Um, but. I'm so happy to be on the Tantalizing Tony show. This is awesome. You've got such a cool community here. And I thank you for, for letting me and watching SmackDown and do tonight, really. That's awesome. Jonah, first of all, let me just say this to you. Thank you for putting up, listen, you're so, so out of the group, I can tell you're the one that's a little more reserved, right? I think, I think I'm, am I wrong? Am I right? About uh, what group are we talking about? About you, about you and your boy, about you, about you and Jeremy. Um, you know, what's funny. He would say that's the other way around. I'm really. Yeah, that was, I'll be honest, like the channel is mainly like my face there. If Jeremy was involved more, Jeremy's face would be there too. I'm not a dictator, but Jeremy helps when he can. I've been doing the show myself for about three years. And once in a while, he, he'll he come to like a live event or something because we just started doing those. But uh, but yeah, he would actually say it's the other way around, funny enough. I think he would. Well, the reason why I said this because I, I, I have a tendency to go – that s crazy and scare people away because I have so much energy. People don't realize, you know, like I told you, I'm 55, but I've been doing this for 30 years. And I would never I, know you were 55. I said that then, and I'll say it now. Like you give off an energy. You seem younger than I do. Like that's the thing. <laughs> wow. Well, look, let's people subscribe to um their channel, but let's get let's get to it. Hold on a second. Um, Kira, where are we? And thank you for that for throwing that up. That's awesome, Kira. You're your production skills are unmatched. No, we got the little video graphics and background do I think. So look, tell people about your channel about yourself. Guys, For we're sure. watching SmackDown. We got we got Bianca backstage with Naomi and uh, Bailey. Let's just hear this real quick. Yes, yes. Because I think if they're doing this the way we think they are, Kabuki Warriors versus Bianca and Naomi, um, Bianca has never not had a title match at WrestleMania. Oh, Bianca's never had a title match at WrestleMania. No, I think you're she, right. She, yeah, she 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 had the first time first time she had a title match. So, yeah, I think she three in a row, three title matches. Yeah, either she was a champion or she was going for the championship. Right. Oh my God, look at I think I might be a little bit ahead of you guys. I heard when I was in the waiting room. I I see Austin Theory and Grace Waller coming out right now. Okay, they're I see them right now. They're on the it stage. happens. Yeah. I, I'm on Hulu Live, so it's a little slower. But oh, whatever. Gotcha. Oh, look, okay. It's cool. Look, so. We could this match ain't that important because we already know who's gonna win this. Um, <laughs> so tell people about your channel, your backstory, the whole thing. Let let the community get to know you guys. For sure. So I'm Jonah, guys. Yeah. Uh, again, and usually when you watch me on my channel, I'm in a tuxedo. I just got back from work, didn't have time to put it on, but that's that's what I use to kind of differentiate myself because you know, Tony, the community is so vast with these podcasters. There's so many of them. Um, there's the good ones. Like what's sitting right here, you know, real, recognizing real, and then there's everything underneath. But that, so you'll usually you'll see me in a tux on my channel, and what I do is I interview a, yeah, there it is. I interview one veteran and one rising star, and it's kind of like a roundtable interview uh, scene, and I've been doing it for three years now. Been a wrestling fan for much longer, but COVID got us all into, uh, you know, doing really cool things, taking up our hobbies as, as you know, side mainly professions right like you do this i'm sure you do this as much as your real job right tony i maybe do this more than my real exactly. job and, yeah. and, and and believe it or not i work for the state of delaware and this job is almost paying more than my <laughs> 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 no my dream um not to cut you off but i no, i no. really want to quit i drive a school bus for a living that's why i'm i'm, a, I'm a, also a, it's a long story but i'm a paraprofessional i work in the schools with um underprivileged kids and kids with behavioral issues but I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I love working with kids, but I hate working for the state. And I and I and, and I'm tired of driving this bus. If I could stay home and just um create content all day and travel, uh I, I it's what I do. So got my my community, Daniel just follow you. That's there you go. Oh. Nikki Nation, Lorraine. Guys, God, subscribe, subscribe, you. subscribe. Um dude, thank and, you um, so much, all three of you. And um, yeah, so how long have you been driving the bus? So ten year ten years at my company right now. Okay. Ten years at my company. Yeah, but um, the reason why I latched on to you, I gravitate to people who have energy because there are a lot of people there 
there was some people with some high profile um standings out there too doing content. Yeah. And, and I didn't I don't approach them now. As, if I don't like you, I don't talk, I don't care what your numbers are. Because look, I'm only almost at ten thousand, you're at fourteen thousand respectable. But these guys up there with hundred thousand, you know, I'm like, eh, I don't mess with them. I, it's just not my thing. It all depends on nope. that personality, yeah, if you click or not. And I feel like right away, immediately, you know, you said to Jeremy and I, like, meet you at the table. We did. It was – and, like, your energy. I don't know how someone couldn't gravitate towards you. In fact, I, when we left, Jeremy and I, I was trying to figure out when the last time we saw you because you were in L.A., right? Because we went to WrestleMania in L.A. You were there. Yes. Right? yes. We went to WrestleCon, but we had gotten there late. It was us and two other friends. And I remember seeing you. Walking around, uh, Akira, maybe you were somebody was holding something, some type of light or some type of camera that you yeah. have. But you were walking, yeah. getting interviews there, I remember. <laughs> and uh, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, you've and you've got a big following, of course, but like not even knowing your name at the time, just remembering your energy. Like, you've got a, wow. you've got a good thing going. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was I was trying to get a scoop and get um Rick Flynn and Brett together. I got some video, but I get yeah. to my dick. Get- you remember it that, was, right? It was, it was them two and um, Medusa, right? Right, right. And Chris yeah, yeah. Van Vliet was there, and I got him. Right. That was – that's yeah. we were probably shoulder to shoulder because I was right in – I was trying to also say hello to Van Vliet. And he had – I remember he came down out of the elevator and had just like a mob of people surrounding him, mm-hmm. moving with him. Yeah. <laughs> like, and uh, it's crazy because he talks to everybody, but that day he really wasn't doing interviews. Right. And I, I think – I think because the way we went up to him, he thought it was so cool. So he he let us interview him, man. The same way with Sean Ross Sapp. Sean oh, Ross Sapp. Awesome. That is really yeah, we met him at WrestleCade, and he really – shout out to Stephanie and Team Swell. Um, we went to, to Sean Ross Sapp, and he was so, like, just engaged. Like, oh, man, I love your channel. He follows us and everything, as wow. does – as does Kill Switch, right? Kill and Switch. and Nick I and Mama Wayne. So. I saw that. Yes. <laughs> it was crazy. You just missed it. You uh, earlier in the chat. Um, Lance Lance and Ie was in the, was in the chat. Um, whoa, that's huge. We're friends, you know. I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the ten. Well, I'm the ten lines of news. I work for Alpha at BPW, so I'm the I'm the ten okay. lines of news. I'm an official news. I'm an official. Ten lines of news. <laughs> oh, true story. Before before Sami Zayn, my God! Oh my God! My 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 future ex wife's in the building. My God, boom baby, boom baby, what's up? <laughs> Love you, boom baby. Um, yeah, I'm talking everywhere. No, um, I'm trying to take the mouse from you. I'm <laughs> sorry. We, we have two. Just, we have a crazy set. We have two. We have two keyboards, two mice. Two, we we do, so that way sometimes I commandeer. But you know, it's I wanted to you. say amazing. You were I'm sorry to cut you. Off. Amazing, you were able you know, to you're fine. all these belts up and put them right back behind you. Like how do you? How much is that process when you're actually traveling somewhere? So it's you don't even need to talk about this because oh. you do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he did not pack not one belt. No. <laughs> it takes forever to pack these up, which is we didn't even bring all of our titles to all of his titles to wrestle. Or what, what was it? The big event. Big event. Big event right. We took like 20, we 21. Took 20, we took we took 20. No, we took 24 total. We took Our 24. Total we 20. have we have, I think, almost 40. OK, um, insane. but. All all forty will be at WrestleCon. That's a fact. Dad, they don't have room for. That. I don't care what room they have. They're gonna make room for Ten Lines and Tony. They're gonna have like um, aisles and aisles of belts. I love it. Yeah. We're gonna well, hopefully we'll get next to somebody that's that's generous and moves over, or they let us put up. I'm, the belts are going up. Listen, the belts will cause some attention. So whoever's next to us would want some attention too. Oh, if you guys want attention, you know, let us put the belts. As back Naomi there. talks to Be- Bianca backstage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can't do it. Oh. Tag team. Okay. Oh yeah. Wait, what did I miss in that? Because my thing is muted, and that did just happen to me. What did they say? So basically, be uh, Bianca and Naomi are not arguing, but they're disagreeing on should they help Bailey. And now Naomi's saying, "Look, I need your help. I can't do this alone." They're picking us off one by one. And now beyond listen, they're doing the reluctant thing to get the tag team together. Look, I'm all for it. I love Bianca. I'm glad Naomi's back. The Kabuki Warriors are great. I think it'll be a great match. I hate to see Kabuki Warriors drop the title so quick, but if it's like for a streak thing for, for um Bianca, I'm all for it. Because yeah. you always win it back on SmackDown or somewhere else, another premium live event. But um, back to you. Um, like I I'm I'm so glad we get to meet. And I'll be honest with you. Look. I, I am the kind of guy that admits when he needs help. You know, you might see, oh my God, Tony sold this. And look, I, 
you've got I we, we watched a lot of your videos and we watched your numbers too on your video. You have good views, you have a lot of views on your videos, like Thank good you. content. So, you know, don't tell the secrets here, but <laughs> you know, there's some things we need help with because we do a lot of videos, they don't get our shorts do pretty well, you yeah. know. But I don't know if I'm doing the wrong thing with the uh with the tags or with the title or with the hash. I don't know, bro. So you know, no, you figured. Could, yeah, I mean, no, we could totally have a have a talk about that. Like, and it's so much just trial and error. Like this stuff. Like when I started, I was also, I was getting like two views, and I've seen, and I watch a lot of your stuff too. And you're definitely getting, you're doing great. Like at nine thousand, and how long have you been doing it? You said, so just two years, two years. So yeah, last time to me nine thousand. That's huge. Um, but when it comes to these videos, I think the number one thing that I've noticed is like hopping on trends and i know you've definitely heard that before but like really doing being able to do content for something when it happens in like a moment's notice or like for me i'm more like interview based i don't do as many live streams or watch long so for me it's like if i see something huge happen in the world of wrestling i say oh did i interview someone who had anything to do with that and did i ask him that question you know and then i immediately post everything i can pertaining to that because that's really i think with the youtube and this is somewhat this is honestly I, I mean humble myself like you a novice talking like i i still don't have you know those secrets but i will be honest like i i think that just following the trends and then like you said shorts i think that's like gonna be the way of the future for a lot of us wrestling youtubers are, are mainly shorts as it gets like slow like i don't know whatever it pertain like attention span this that whatever but I do think shorts are like really important to keep a channel. And that's and they just added a feature. This I could say, I don't know if you've done if you've used this feature, but when you post a short and you can tag a related video, do you know about that, Kira or Tony? Oh, I just I didn't know if that was new or not, but I saw that and I was like, oh, might as well just just tag it. Yeah. And that's how I've gotten views up of videos that have been like dead for a while. I'm talking like the long form ones. Like you use the shorts yeah. to kind of I'll say one thing that I always stuck with me and I, I was lucky enough to interview Chris Van Vliet on my show, like virtually not in person. And he described this breadcrumb method that was like, you put a little like crumb, which is the short, and then you lead them to a clip. And then that leads them to a, an hour video. And like, you kind of build people mm -hmm. up and, and hook them that way. And I thought that was really interesting. And that's coming from someone who I really admire. Oh, I'm sure you do. Like, listen, I, I literally, would drink this guy's bath water. Oh, I love this dude. I'm being honest. I'm telling you, yeah. like, look, here's the thing. There's a there's a lot of my backstory, my backstory goes far back, but just to give you a quick synopsis of what I know. Okay. I know a lot of people in the business. A lot. I came up in Long Island in 1993. That's when I started wrestling. Um, I trained with Mikey Whipwreck. Mikey Whipwreck basically trained me. Mikey Whipwreck, um, Paul Loria, Kevin Flynn, Mike Norman, Craig Bosha, all these guys from um, Long Island. I worked for ECW Ring Crew in 94, 95. I've wrestled in their ring. I've wrestled. Um, I've done a couple of things on TV with them. I then went to Pittsburgh, took over the Pittsburgh wrestling scene, United States Championship Wrestling. Wrestled there for two years, was light heavyweight champion for two years. I never lost that title. I was stripped of it. Um, never lost. I'm technically still yeah, USCW still like heavyweight yeah. champion. Yeah, I'm still champion. <laughs> How long Even is that way? How long is that right? Maybe 1997. What's this? 2024. There you do the math yourself, man. Long time. 20 like some odd years. It's a giant streak. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's long. It's long. But um, so I and I've been I've been to um quite a few WrestleMania's. We won't say the number because it's it's in it's in um if I tell you the exact number, people are like no way because I can't prove them all because some of them I snuck into when you could sneak into Manias back in the oh, day. Oh gosh, yeah, true story. <laughs> in the garden, see. Listen, it's easy to sneak in the Madison Square Garden back in the day, and they can't do it now. But um, I've been everywhere. I go to all premium live events. I'm a WWF fan slash E fan, of course. Um, not big on AW. Do watch the product, of course. I love the boys and girls in the back. I think the production value is terrible. I think that Tony Khan pays these guys too much without getting any stories together. That's just my personal opinion. But anyway, long story short is that I should have been doing this 10 years ago. Right. And I always procrastinate, procrastinate. I know it's going to sound real crappy to sound. Not thank God for COVID, but I use COVID as, I use it as a benefit. A lot of people, it hurt a lot of people, and I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry for that. But I use it to my advantage that this is the best time, and a lot of people did, to create content and do this. And I think I'm pretty good at what I do. I do think that I need more focus. I, I don't have, 
the mind like you do or she does. I'm just the pop, 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 pop. I'm the guy. I'm the I'm the I'm the wrestling guy that never stops talking. It's been in this match to tell you when it was, where it was, who wrestled in it, how many rungs were in the ladder. You know, if you name a match, I probably was there. You know, um, I was at the first Raw in the Manhattan Center. That's, that's awesome. That that's yeah, cool. Um, though. Like I feel like every good, whether it be channel project, whatever, everyone has someone like you, and then someone who is you know doing the uh, like production, like you're doing Kira, keeping it steady, but. But you are certainly a memorable face, like Tony. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate that. But my problem is, is that I'm not a guy like you that has the focus. I have zero focus when it comes to this because I'm an on-air guy, and I'm, I'm I'm a wrestler, you know. Yeah. And you know, talking about and get, people ask me about AJ Francis, the match. So me and AJ Francis are having a match. I so, remember you said that. So that's that has that become more official since we were together on Saturday. So we're just trying. We're trying to narrow down a date. We're trying to okay. narrow down what his um schedule is. But it looks like July, August. Um, and the YouTube Championship will be on the line. Um, the title is on the line. And um, I haven't wrestled in twenty two years. Oh my god! I've been. Now I've stepped in the ring. I have I've have worked out in the ring. I have run the ropes. I've done, so I still got it. But yeah. right now I'm on a I'm on a major cleanse right now. I'm on my fifth. What's this day four? I'm on a day four for this cleanse. I'm on this, this crazy diet to drop a lot of weight to um eat better and get in a better shape. But um a lot of people going oh you're too old you're this you're 50. I, I I'm telling people this the same way Jonas said I I don't look 55 I don't feel 55 and when I step in the ring with AJ Francis. He's gonna see that I'm not 55. I'm not coming to lose. I don't know what people are thinking. I'm not coming to lose my prestigious, self-proclaimed YouTube championship. Okay, I'm not. Kira, are you worried no. for him? Or are you worried for AJ? Um, <laughs> I have faith in my father. I'm confident that he can pull it off. Get the now. Job here's done. the thing. Now here's yeah. the thing. If it was versus Rhea, she's going with Rhea. A hundred percent. It is judgment. <laughs> I, you know, I saw that video. I was looking at your shorts and I said, that was cool. Both of those. When when she does it the first time with the belts is cool. When you actually meet her, your reaction mm -hmm. is awesome, Kira. Like that's a that's a true fact. <laughs> really cool. She Thank truly you. loves Rhea. Rhea. Oh, one, two, and it ring the bell. You of course they cheated. That's it. Uh -huh. Cheat the win. I don't care. I like them. Cheat if you must, but always win. Um <laughs> Kira is a real Rhea Ripley fan. She really loves her. She die hard. Die hard. Like, <laughs> she will choose no one over her. I asked her a legitimate question. And let me ask you, Jonah, since we're talking wrestling. And yes, guys, you guys watch this SmackDown, we know. But do you think Rhea has the ability to be the best ever? You know, yes, actually, I do. Because I was just talking. Jeremy is like, like, Jeremy and I usually watch every show together. He couldn't make it tonight. But, like, Monday or Friday, he's right here next to me on this couch. We're watching wrestling. And... We have all those types of discussions, and I was talking to him, and I actually said, I think Rhea Ripley is getting bigger than WWE before our eyes even. Like, she's known by a ton of my friends in a lot of different, like, sub-communities out there on, like, social media. Like, she is known in these little communities as, like, just um, – I guess like a figure, like a, I don't know what the word I'm thinking of, but you know, like more than just a wrestler, they're like, oh, I guess she wrestles an enigma. That person and enigma, you know, like that person looks so cool. So she's obviously got the look factor, but then also her in ring style is crazy. And uh, I'll say a little sneak peek. I just interviewed, uh, if you remember, her name was Caitlin in WWE. Her name is Celeste. Mm -hmm. but Celeste Bonin. Exactly. Bonin. Yeah, exactly. I just had the pleasure of interviewing her. And she told a really cool story about first meeting Rhea Ripley before she was mommy and everything like that back on the Mae Young Classic. And because Rhea, I think, won the Mae Young Classic, but wasn't, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, people watching, but I think Rhea won either the second or first Mae Young Classic. And she wasn't going to win, but the person who was going to got injured. So they had right. Rhea, hey, we're plugging you in. It might have been Dakota. It might have been because they, they, and it was like an ankle injury. And Caitlin was backstage watching because uh, she had competed in it as well and saw Rhea learn this match. She said within five minutes, she learned an entire like 15 minute classic. And she had already wrestled prior. 
and this was her as like again a rookie like maybe 20 21 years old and she was just yeah. like her mind was blown and that just speaks i think to the incredibleness that we could see from Ray Ripley if she's and again she that was 20 whatever she's like 26 now or something right 27 like i damn after all that, yes, I do think she has the ability to be the best ever. If not the best ever, then the best of this generation, hands down, I would say. Yeah, um, and it's crazy because she has the look. You know, yeah. um, it's, she's a hybrid of China with the look. Um, and then if you, she's she's part Mickey James wrestling wise, but then she's part Lita. It's like she, she got a she got a piece of everybody. Not to mention she's Rhea. She's 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 got an, a different kind of athleticism. She doesn't do the flips off the road, but she doesn't have to because she's so statuesque. But she's not yeah. even really that tall. She just looks tall, which is crazy. She's not. That, yeah, I would think she was tall, but I've never met her. It's like how tall is she? I mean, five, she, seven. she's five seven. She's my height. Now, of course, her boots are probably five nine, but um, she looks uh, her aura makes her look a lot bigger visually than she is. She walks yes. with her head held high. Yeah, sure. and, and that's what <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> and um, the reason why I ask is because Kira, you know, I, I'm trying to figure out because we're gonna do a couple of shows on who's the best woman wrestler ever, and I'm a lot of people say Charlotte, but I really believe that Charlotte might go down as number two because I, I yeah. think Rhea. You know, and what's crazy is look at this generation. You got Charlotte, you got you've got Bianca Belair, you got Rhea, you've got Becky Lynch, you've got Sasha Banks, you got all the horse women, you've got all these women right now that EO, EO Shirai, EO Sky, whatever you want to call her, who are just incredible. Not to mention Tiffany Stratton is incredible. Oh, that's another one that is rising so quick on my list. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people's list is like just so impressive. Like her character for me, it's and so you said you're more of like a WWE fan. And I'm curious because I've always, when watching wrestling, like I love a good match and in-ring ability. It like makes it. That is like the icing on top. But for me, it has always been about the story and the storytelling. And that that's where I lie as like kind of a fan. So someone like Tiffany Stratton, whose character is like so top tier. That's why myself, I've always thought Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet was the best of the four horsewomen because she could bring it in the ring. But on the mic, her character was always the strongest, in my opinion. So that's so that's why, I, yeah, I love someone like Tiffany Stratton, who has a lot to her other than just being good. Or Rhea Ripley, too. Or really a lot of the women, though, if you look at it right now, have strong characters around them. I can't think of one you, who's just all in. You've got to attribute that to the performance. And I think that Triple H, when he made the performance, and I think that people really were skeptical of this would even happen. But he <laughs> built this thing like a farm system, like a minor league um, sports team where they start them from the bottom and they make them work and they have promo classes and I toured this place and it is something that is else. so cool. You got to tour that place? Yeah, it's great. Wow. It's a great place. Yeah, it, it, it looks way different than before I, when I first went a couple years ago but um, before COVID. The, um, let me tell you how they do things um, just in aspects. Of, it's like school. It's like you have to be on time. You're right. there for classes, you're there for cardio, you're there for workout time, you're there for um you're there for promo class. It's um it's not easy. And they weed you out quick if you can't make it. <laughs> you know, I want to ask you because you mentioned production value earlier. I'm looking at just this shot. I don't know if you're here yet, but they've been working with these new camera angles, I feel WWE. Like mm -hmm. there was something love on Raw. Yeah, I love them. There's something on Raw that just happened with Sami Zayn. Did you do you know what I'm talking about? It, they filmed. When you follow him backstage, I thought that was so genius. Like, yeah. Now that um, what's the guy's name? He just left. Kevin, Kevin, Dunn. Kevin Dunn. Dunn. Kevin Dunn. I love that they um are changing it around and making it more fan friendly. They make it more interactive. Like, look right next people. Are gonna, these are the cheap seats. Look, this that's, is cheap. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah. This is, and this is this is what I want to do. This is my dream. I want to be the guy. Remember how the Miz used to go up and talk to the crowd? Yeah. I want to be the guy that talks to the people in the Raptors that can't afford those front row tickets and they have two tickets. By the way, you're going front row. Like I think that WWE should really start doing that. Get somebody that's in the cheap seats and move them down. Um They have been showing a lot of love to those people. They did you know how they do the sign of the night at like house shows and yeah. stuff? They started doing that on TV. Which is great. And like on social media and stuff, I don't I don't know what their plan is, but I like what they're doing. As oh guys, 
as um Pat McAfee and Roman talking to Pat McAfee show today. I joined at the last second when he was leaving. So yeah, face to face, Cody versus Roman. Let me ask you this, Jonah. Do you think that the tag team match between Rock and Roman going against Cody and Seth have overshadowed the main event for a Sunday night? That's that's a great question. So I don't think it's overshadowed it because I think like as soon as it ends, everyone's gonna get back into that, oh my gosh, like can't wait for Cody to finish a story or not. But I do think it's definitely like a a roadblock and it's a really close one to the main event too. So I don't know. I one thing I think is really cool is that because as you know, WrestleMania tickets are through the roof expensive now, and they've kind of given you a good night if you choose to go to either night. You know, if you if you choose to only go to one night, you've got a great WrestleMania night. Um, I don't know what the rest of the card looks like for the other night, but those main events are both great. In terms of taking attention away, I do know that I've been seeing a lot of people say that the real match might be Rock versus Cody after all of this. In, and it's not maybe Roman because Roman hasn't really said much in the grand scheme mm-hmm. of like his whole. But thing. I think that's on purpose. I think that's I think they're purposely making him play second fiddle so that when the turn comes, he's the underdog. Because look, they're gonna make Roman a face eventually. People yeah. love this guy, and yeah. Rock as a heel is so over. And if I I'm telling you, I really believe we're gonna have two factions of bloodlines. I really believe it. I really believe we're gonna have like a NWO black and white. In an NWO wolf pack kind of deal. But I think the way, look, this this family, there, there was no mistake. They put that tree up there, that family tree up there. That wasn't by Ooh. that was by design. That they looked that good too. I love that. I was I was front row for that, by the way. We were at we were there That's for that. Cool. We were we were there for that. And I um, saw you. I remember that. I saw you on the uh on whatever they were doing, the CM Punk where yeah, we I was on I was I was on the panel, you know. The panel, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think that was. I think everything they've done is all by design. I think nothing's a mistake. I think the finger like this with Rock with his finger up in the oh, air like totally. this is not That's a mistake. Not I yeah. I think everything is purposely done. I think the breadcrumbs, like Chris Van Vliet said, I think they're dropping little breadcrumbs, little hints, <laughs> and I really think that this WrestleMania, no matter if Cody finishes the story or not, I don't think that's important because in wrestling, guys. the the story never finishes. The story's ongoing. Yeah. Because even though great, WrestleMania ends, great point. Yeah. Raws the next night. Th- people, I don't know you anybody in chat. But, oh no. But the women might. Oh, what's going on back here? There was an EO's assault. Guys beating up Bailey. Wow. Eos beating ba- beating the crap out of Bailey. I was wondering why they had them dancing up there. Tell me when you see Eo like come out to the stage because that's where I am right now. I would. I just want to. She's walking right now. She's so they're showing the- Naomi right now. They're showing Naomi right now with a with a mean face with a. This, okay. Now they're showing Bailey on the ground. Oh wow! What was that for? And 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 by the way, look at um Naomi dressed like Thurman Sparky Plug. Um, look, you know. <laughs> and here's Eo right now. Okay, cool. She just came out. Look at all that gold. That was so unnecessary, Eo. But it's just, I I think it's great as a setup. Obviously, but that was unnecessary. I love Dakota Kai. Ooh, Dakota, yeah. I mean, that whole damage control faction is great. The only thing I haven't liked about them for the longest time is the theme song. And I don't yeah, have. Yeah, the theme song's terrible. Yeah, it's bad. I don't, is, is it still the damage control theme song? I don't have. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't like any of the music, honestly. I think a lot of the music has fallen off since uh-huh. they got rid of those other guys. Yeah. I mean, Rhea's music is good, and there's some good songs here and there, but I mean, I mean, Cody's song is his. I don't think you're listening. I have a whole playlist of these songs. You've got to write. That's cool. I was gonna say we need to. I feel like that's circum. That there's like circumstances to that because we got to see which songs. I think Damage Control sucks. Um, the theme song. Uh, what theme do I like? I did like Tiffany Stratton's theme, but they changed it. And they changed it. It's like generic kind of now. Um, Mm -hmm. what are some other new songs? I love EO Skies. I think Kabuki Warriors. Oscar's new theme is great. Shout out to our local pro wrestling who says who owns local pro wrestling out in Florida that he can book me and AJ oh. for July 13th at the oh. Sumner County Fairgrounds oh. in Florida. He gave details. Yeah, he gave details. So we've <laughs> so Les has already talked to AJ about this as well. There's a couple other venues. Um, this might not be a one-off, everybody. So um we'll we'll get to that. But the match is going to happen, believe it or not. Um, and yes, I'm I'm nervous. I I am. And not because of him, 
I'm the kind of guy that if you're I nervous step in the ring, what you're gonna do to him in the ring. That, yeah. That too, but I'll be honest, I want I want my match. My younger kids, Kira has never seen me wrestle in the ring. She's only seen video. Right. They, none of my kids have seen me in the ring, my younger ones. I have older children, I have older children with my first marriage. Um, but they've never seen me in the ring before, and I want it to be a good match. It's not I'm just, not just going in there to do two minutes and get squashed. You know, people say, oh, just go in there. No, no, no. AJ is going to have to work um, if he wants that title. Um, and I know he's a big man. And I know he's strong. But um, cardio beats any big man any day of the weekend twice on Sunday. And, um, yeah, I got a little bit of tricks up my sleeve. You know, um, he might be a superstar. He's been in WWE. He's, he's killer independent scene. But uh, I've been on this earth a little longer than him. And, um, you know, like I said, there's – Everybody hasn't seen all the 10 lines in Tony just yet. You know, you only got to see the guy that can talk. I back it up. But that's for another day and another time. He is um, deceivingly big, by the way. I didn't realize how massive. Huge. Yeah. Huge. And massively strong. Hands, right. size 16, um, hands like catcher's mitts. Huge. Catcher's like, mitts. basically, you can put his hands around your head and squash like a grape. So, <laughs> you know, my, my strategy would be to stick and move. Um, chop the tree down. Ch- ch- chop, <laughs> chop, there you go. Chop down. Um, is uh, that was a botch? That was, I shouldn't say botch. I shouldn't did. say botch, but that was, no, it did look like one. This gear is great, by the way. I'm loving the because Mercedes mm-hmm. did it too. The like the hair, the I hair like thing. Hair. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Listen, my thing with Naomi, I've always liked her. I always thought she was a little um, she telegraphs a lot. If you watch, um. And her in ring, her uh, excuse me, her promos got a lot better. People don't realize that it's so hard to talk on the microphone on TV in front of people. It is not easy. Um, There's a lap I'm curious what you be quite. <laughs> you know, I'm curious what the first tantalizing Tony promo sounded like way back when. Honest to God, I'm I curious. can actually tell you. So let me tell you. You want to hear a quick story? Yeah, absolutely. So at Monday Night Raw in 1993, the first Raw, I met my friends, Paul. Craig, Mike, Kevin, and um, Craig, you said and that. and they're the sorry, we'll rest. <laughs> they're the guys that ran HWA. Sorry, they, okay, they okay. ran HWA Hardcore. It was Holbrook Wrestling Alliance, and then they changed the name to Hardcore Wrestling Alliance. And basically, I was cutting. I was just Bret Hart was Bret Hart's my, was my dude. So I was always walking around like this, going, "Where's the party?" Because that's what he used to say. People don't realize that he used to go, he say, "Where's the party?" So I would do it. The arms, yeah. So. So after the match, after the match at Raw, we were walking towards the train station separately. And I was just talking about wrestling. And these guys said, who is this crazy black kid? You know? So they're like, yo, what's your name? I'm like, Tony. See, yo, you're a wrestler. I said, never wrestled a day in my life. Want to learn how to wrestle? We had a, we had a ring in our backyard. I said, you have a ring in your backyard? I'm like, yeah. Want to learn how to wrestle? I'm like, yeah, sure. Well, what's your name? I was like, uh, so to the right of me is this in, in Penn Station. They're um, they sell like they have kiosks, right? Where they sell different things. They were selling perfume. It was some generic perfume, mm-hmm. but the name of the perfume was tantalizing. Dude, so was the, that's crazy. So I, I saw the person. He goes, "What's your name?" I go, "Tantalizing Tony." They're like, "What?" I didn't know so, it was such an old nickname. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. So I was like, "They like, wow, man, you could have promo." I was like. Well, let me tell you something about Tan Lies and Tony. Tan Lies and Tony at Monday Night Raw here just got his name from a bottle of stinking perfume. It stinks so good just like me. You get in the ring, Tan Lies and Tony, I take it down like a $2 whore on a corner of 42nd Street. That's my exact <laughs> promo. That was my exact promo. This The origin story is insane. I love that That's so much. I'm named I after perfume. It it. Love that it started in Penn Station. Love that you your name comes from perfume. Yes, <laughs> and the fact you can and remember st- every word of it—that's awesome. And I stink so, and I stink so good, so you know? good. I stole that from the movie Boomerang. <laughs> I feel like you, it, when this match with uh, AJ Francis does happen, you got to bring a little bottle of tantalizing Tony. <laughs> Maybe you know do, what? A little arrogance, like arrogance that. spray. Like, exactly. Mar- Rick Mar- yes. Martel, yeah. I tried to look for a tantalizing perfume for your one of your birthdays. It is so hard to find. I don't know what. I don't even know if it exists. It's that Penn Station exclusive. Tale <laughs> yes. You. Whatever it was, let me tell you, it's 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 the reason why I'm here today, still doing this, uh, 31 years later, 1993. Crazy. 
Wow. Yeah. You're old. I am old, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm seasoned. Um, this is actually a good match now. Um, I'm loving the gear looking like the race car. Oh, she's is she gonna springboard this? Oh, she's shaking Goodness the booty. Gracious. Let's look, let's look, look. Naomi. Oh, the split legged, the split leg. One pin two. He's on the ropes. I the, this is my biggest listen to this. Listen here, WWE and your superstars. I'm gonna need you to stop losing your ring awareness. Okay. Every time, every single week, there's somebody who gets pinned too close to the ropes and then they cause a rope break. You don't know that you're too close to the ropes? You don't see that the ropes are right next to you? Calm, calm down, calm down, killer. It's calm every down. week. It's, no, I'm this sick is, it. this is smart. This is this is like some seasoned uh co host energy right here. It's true. <laughs> She's awesome. Did you do you, know, you know about the podcast? You also have a podcast as well. I thought we've this only, was so. This is not the podcast. So no, we've we we've only done two. So this is actually like the show, but we have a podcast. Let's see if I can find it somewhere. Um, basically argue for an hour. We argue for an hour. It's <laughs> called tantalizing. It's called tantalizing tag team. Type that in here, please. It's called tantalizing tag team. Whatever well, it is, right there. Googleable. We're Googleable. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we the images. Wow, look at that. So we actually go, we're actually Googleable. I love that word. And there we are, right there. That's our that's our logo right there, ten lots and tag team. There it is, and here's the oh, link. Let's awesome. bust out. Yeah, we um only done two. Um, oh, we're gonna probably tape one tonight, but I will. I'll send you the link in your in out in your text message. Yeah, but um, yeah, we do a, is, we do a podcast that, as well. Is that also on YouTube or no? Um, we have we have one on YouTube, but there we're on Spotify. Apple Podcast, wherever you get your podcast, we're there. So, guys, <laughs> if you see us, please give us a five star review. I, I definitely find will. I will. I just see that's what I was always late to the game with. Is I kind of I love YouTube personally. Like that's it's me just too. easier for me to. It's, it's easy. It's, it's easy. It's easy to understand. I was late to the game with the podcast. I just started posting my episodes on there. Like today, I posted. I like I've done a, almost eighty interviews now over the course of three years, and I only have about. Um, like seven, I think, on my podcast thing. So I need to catch up with that. But I'll check yours out for sure. But yeah, I, I agree with you. Kira, that uh, <laughs> that ring awareness thing is so true. Like, I don't like when the wrestlers <laughs> seem like dumb, you know. And us as yeah. fans are able to be like, "What the hell?" Like, I they never know better. I liked it. They, they should know better. They really should. <laughs> ah, you know, I'll tell you right now. I think that. I think that Naomi leaving and going to te to um Impact was good for her. You think so? Okay. Yes. I, I see a lot more. There we go. Let's ring the bell. Nope. Damage Control came out, right? And they're attacking. Uh, well, she never touched her. They never well, touched her. Distracting. It's Naomi. over. Naomi. One, two, three. So let's see now if we get we get we get um. Bianca and um honestly, I think Jade might come out. You think Jade, Jade is oh. in with Jade is there. She said she said she was there. Mm. Well, not in SmackDown, but she's in Milwaukee. Let's see if you're right. She needs to so be the numbers. I completely forgot. She needs to be worked into WrestleMania somehow, doesn't she? Like it'd be yeah. weird. Uh, did, what do we think about her performance? I was I was able to be at the Rumble. You guys at the Rumble? Oh, look, Lorraine found it. Lorraine. <laughs> We gotta put this up. Lorraine found no. it. Tantalizing perfume. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Shout out to Lorraine. Oh, look, let's see. Let's watch this first. Hold Listen, on. Listen, the numbers are still gonna be off when Bianca comes out and Bailey. That, that'd oh, be four and no. four. And and that way Jade doesn't have to fight. That's right. Did you miss her? Naomi, yeah. Oh, she, she missed her. Missed it. Trying to fight blindly. Good. Where is everybody? Um Here's Bianca. Here's Bianca. Here's Bianca. Right. Look, come look, on. Look, look, look at um um the code said, come on. Wow. Oh the code got nailed. Punch in the face. Jeez. Goodness I gracious. EO's so cool with like little details with her stuff. Yes. Like the way she springboards and climbs ropes and the way she like holds the pin after she wins. Like it's such it's really cool. Damage control. Oh, they, got the, they got the hair. Look, they got the braid. No, that's a big mistake, Kyrie. Uh -oh. <laughs> wow, she threw she's her. Oh my god, she's so little. She's so little. 
Maybe maybe we don't get Bailey and Jade. No, 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 no. Bianca could do it all on her own. By herself. Oh, KOD. No, she's not going to get it. Oh. Check out the leg. Oh, now they're all going to wake oh, up. Oh, maybe. They got yeah. it. Oh. If you bring out Jade, you do it now. Pro- but what about Bailey? Bailey might come. Come on, Bailey, come out. She got beat up. They're chanting for Bailey. Come on. Come on, Bailey. This is when you really want Bailey to come. We know she got beat up, but she can't come limping down the ramp. Oh, what? Bailey. Boo. Mistake. and That's a mistake. This is a mistake to me not to bring out Bailey and not to bring out Jade. Look, we're only 14 days away. I mean, come on. God, that's crazy. 14 days away. Oh, my God. Wait, I forgot. Are you guys going to be in Philly? Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, WrestleCon. Oh, wait, look at the background. Look in the background. Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul. Look at that little troll. <laughs> oh, now we get oh. it. This. Come on here. She does not like me. <laughs> now, how the heck are they going to work her in WrestleMania? Yo, when she picked up, when she picked up Nia Jax, I was at the Rumble for that. Me, oh, me too. Wait, you were in uh, Florida? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, me and my boy Ruda, we um, we uh, drove there. Oh, that's great. From Delaware. Yeah. How long is that drive? It was fourteen hours. <laughs> but worth it. That was a good rumble. Yeah, we we stopped off and saw um um Victoria Crawford, Alicia Fox at her house in Jacksonville. We stopped in Jacksonville. Oh, well, wow. not we yeah. we ate dinner yet. Oh, next Friday. Next Friday, really? They'll set it up. Okay. You know what though? But why are they announcing it though? For ratings, smart, smart, mm. smart. I'm excited. Oh, she signed. Oh wait, what what is this? I didn't see this last week. Did he get arrested? Yeah. What the heck? Where was I? Yo, he looks big. LA Knight's huge. Yeah, Jack in that shot. People are thinking that um LA Knight versus um AJ is a bad match. It's a great match. Who's thinking that? Because it sets him up that he can hang with the big boys at a big show. And then you get him, then you feed him Logan Paul. Because he's got to win that U.S. title. Yeah. I um, feel like that's a great match myself. Um, yeah. I think that's a good match. Uh, I will say I was looking forward to the promo battles of L.A. Knight and Logan Paul. But I feel like after watching – do you watch Impulsive, like Logan Paul's podcast ever? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after his episode with Randy Orton, I was like, these two are working together. Like, they just seem so mm-hmm. similar. Just, uh, I feel like they hit it off right after the camera stopped rolling. They were like, yeah, just scrap that match with LA Knight and fight me. The Hard and Soft Wrestling Podcast announcements. If you guys know, check them out. They're on YouTube as well. Guys, I want to show you something really quick. Um, thank you to Lorraine for this. Awesome, Lorraine. So she found this. Hold on, guys. Here's the photo of... Nev Perfume. Hold on. Can we make this bigger here? So f- what... Yeah. That cannot be the one. I mean, it's by, so- by Sophia, Sophia Vergara. Yo, Vergara. Wow, no, she's not that old. No, it's not. It's not but, but I'll take it. Look at that <laughs> tantalizing. See, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here, That's beautiful. You know, I'll take it. I'm I think your your gear you. that should be the color scheme of your gear for your. Oh, life. that'll be cool. Oh, look, at this. look at this tantalizing artesian handcrafted natural organic. Look at this. A few things with you see, this is a copyright infringement, I tell you. What in the world? This, they robbed me. They stole this from me. Um, where's another one? Look at it right there. Another tantalizing. I wish I could read French. There it is, right there. Artesian handcrafted natural <laughs> organic eau de perfume. Perfume. Pa- it's pretty cheap. Nine ninety five. Get out of here. I'm worth more than that. Sons of guns. Priceless. 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 <laughs> um. So let me ask you a question. Um. About WrestleMania. Are you going? Are you going? I am. Yeah. Both both nights. Yeah. Jeremy and I will be there. Awesome. What section are you? In? Do you know section you're in? Let me tell you right now. I don't know off the top of my head. 
What? Night one, I'm in one. Night one, I'm not even sure. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know, but I know that I'm not in the cheapest seats, which makes me happy. Although nowhere near ringside, because who the fuck has listen? Who got that type of money, bro? That's they went crazy. That no, these tickets were insanely expensive. Like I've never spent this much on Mania tickets before, and I've been so to I've been. To- too. I know you've been to a ton. How many have you been to? I want to, I'm curious of the number. I don't care what, what you can prove or not. Well, I missed the mania that was COVID. It's that mania. So, and that's that. it? 39? <laughs> you do the math. That's crazy. See, the problem with me, the problem is this. There are people that can le- legitimately prove it. And then people ask me, can I prove it? And I can't because I don't have ticket stubs from a lot of them because I wasn't keeping that makes records sense. back then. So I'm trying not to make it a big deal because a lot of people, a couple of people have gotten like accolades for being in all of them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I don't, I get upset that I can't prove it because some of few, like WrestleMania 10, my friends bought me tickets. Um, uh, Mikey Whipper bought those tickets. We, nice. yeah, um, WrestleMania nine in Vegas. Um, I got comped for that. Um, WrestleMania one, my uncle took me. I was a kid, was 14, 15. Fireflies, so yeah, but I've been to, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, there it well, is. <laughs> nowhere near that many for me. How about you, Kira? How many for you? This upcoming one would be my fifth one, 27. 32, 38, 38 39, 39, and then 40. Yep, yep. So I'm not quite as much as <laughs> my son, Big B- Very impressive. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, my son, Big Bucks Bobby. What do you, how many Bobby? 27, 34. That's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he's 27, 34, and um, hopefully 40. Um, I've got. I've got 28, 29, 31, 33, 35, and uh, I got Texas, LA, and then Florida. So that I this is nice. I guess the one that will be my ninth. That's crazy. Nice. That's a good. That's a good number, man. Well, so well, as soon as I went once, because when you get go once, you do get hooked. It's like, over. Twenty eight. <laughs> twenty eight. Rock and Cena one was my first, and I think I was. I might have been like 15, 14 years old, and I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I want to go every year if I can. That was 28, and I took their mom. She's a big um, rock mark, Oh, but she enjoyed the entire thing. Like, she doesn't do wrestling, but we had um, had great seats, and just that entire aura, that whole day was incredible. Was it warm? It was warm. It was lucky. Duck. It was the perfect day. Listen, when Seamus kicked the face off of Daniel oh, Bryan, it was beautiful. Beautiful. I remember every match. I just, oh. So listen, my favorite part of WrestleMania 28, believe it or not, was when Brodus Clay came out with all the mamas and somebody called my mama. I yeah. thought it was hilarious. Did I you, loved it. Did you hear the backstory behind that? With no. Uh, so apparently John Cena, like they were going to cut that. This is from a Chris Van Vliet interview. They were going to cut that Brodus moment. Uh, they had all the mamas there and everything ready to go and they were going to cut it. And then John Cena was like, hold up. I have to go to the bathroom. And like looked at Brodus and gave him like a look and was like, I might be there a while, like five minutes. And they, Brodus took that and ran with it. And he credits Cena for his one, uh, That's wow. nice. which is so cool. Like to hear. That's awesome. <laughs> Cena gets a bad rap. Listen, here's From my who? thing. A lot of people. <laughs> Cena, <laughs> what? Cena has Cena has been. Look, if you talk to Alex Riley, I interviewed Alex Riley. Go. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, there's some bad bad blow with a lot of those guys on Cena. But this is my thing, and I I'm gonna say this, and this might be not might not be popular. When you're on top, you do whatever you can do to stay on top. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I was, if I thought there was somebody gonna take my spot. I might do a little shenanigans. I'm being honest. Listen, it's human nature to want to stay on top and be number one. Yo, AJ Styles has jacked. No, I didn't even think that was AJ for a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, Hold up. When did this happen? Oh, this, 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 they said this was last night. 
Uh oh, is this is oh. this age? Is this a uh, LA night LA outside night? his house? This is so cool. I love Who is it. Honkin? <laughs> oh wait, I have oh missed this gosh. type of stuff since they. I uh, love this since Triple H and Randy Orton's house. Remember that way back when? I, yes, yes. I fear that I love this too. This is. This is. Jasmine said this is Attitude Era. Look, yes. body cam footage. I love oh. it. My body gosh. cam footage, no. The details is insane. How they, I want to know how they got the body cam footage. <laughs> You're like, oh, awesome. we, we got to make this into a promo. Can we get it from you guys? Look, his oh. wife popped by. I love it. Nice house. <laughs> this is so cool. Are they cursing? Oh, they my won't. gosh. This is a fight. The only thing that would have made this cooler is if he just straight up kicked his door down. Like, yeah. Like, oh. But this is great. But let me ask you guys a question in the chat. And you guys should remember this. Who said when TKO took over, get ready for Attitude 2.0? I said this. I said it even before TKO took, took, took over. That you could see certain things where Attitude Era was going to come back in a way. Now they're cursing on camera. Oh my you gosh. got the rock cutting promos where he's saying the F word. and. I love I love LA Knight a lot more now. <laughs> yeah. And AJ, honestly, this is amazing. This was awesome. Why the heck? Well, AJ, why the heck did you fly across the world just to beat up LA Knight and you're wondering why he's coming to your house? <laughs> right? You <laughs> Who called the cops? That was fast. Yeah, that's wow. a bit, response time is a bit too quick for my life. What, what neighborhood <laughs> is that that AJ's in? That's a nice neighborhood. That's a nice... <laughs> They're on standby. <laughs> hey, Jonah, um, as the Street Profits come out, right, let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting B-Fab is Do you fun. think that I see them pairing with Bobby Lashley and B-Fab is a mistake? Oh, they're looking like stars, um, first of all. Sorry. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah, they are looking like stars. Like, Here's the thing. I didn't when they started this faction. I feel like everyone was confused if they were faces or heels or somewhere in the right. middle, and you didn't really know what they were going after. And then they kind of just became like, I don't know, like like friends of Bobby because he was like, I'm their mentor. But then Bobby was the one getting all the matches, <laughs> and Street Profits <laughs> kind of just standing there. So I didn't love that. But since they started feuding with Cross's group and there's like a real path for them, I do love the the Bobby Lashley Street Profits thing. As for Beef Fab, haven't really seen much of her since Hit Rose, you know, demise. It could be a great thing to give her some, you know, some um, exposure. Mm. So I, I don't think it's a mistake. No, what do you think? So my thing is this. I, I love the Street Profits. I think they're an incredible tag team, but I think they've run their course. I think that this tag team is holding back Montez Ford. I One, think Montez I mean, Ford... If that's the question, 100%. But yeah, go I on. think Montez Ford is, is a single superstar. Not to say that um, Dawkins isn't, because Dawkins has impressed me. Dawkins, to me, I said this two years ago when I first started the channel, that if Dawkins lost some weight, clean cut himself a little bit, that he'd be a superstar too, and he definitely has done that. I just think that Montez Ford is a is a is a future world champion. The problem with Montez to me is that he's too animated. Much. <laughs> he's too animated. I think he has too much fun. I think that he that you can't take him seriously because he's got that he's in that new day category where it's fun, it's upbeat. You know, if you noticed when Kofi Kofi Mania happened. Yeah. All the dancing and singing stopped. It did. It did. And and kind of the same with Biggie. They changed the theme. He would still do the dances, but like he was mean. Like he was know. he was serious. He was focused. And yeah. I think what what the problem with Montez Ford is that he lacks focus. And it was this is what I think. And I'm not backstage, but I don't think I know they see him as a former as a future world champion as a superstar. But I don't think that they think he believes it. Because mm -hmm. okay. to me. To me, I would if I knew if I knew I had that that athletic ability that he has, the guy's maybe top five, not uh, top ten in the world. The guy's incredible. Yeah. Okay. The the freaking splash off the top rope, I never seen anybody get so high in my life. And he tells a great story. 
not to mention, like I said, how he how he interacts with the fans, whether he's a heel or a face, but I think he's too friendly, and I think he's too funny. I think you got to tone him down. I'd love to see him break off as a heel and put MVP with him. Oh, that's good. Now, here's my issue with that. I am a loyal Homo sapien. I have been. So am I. Okay, good. So, I is Mal- love- so is Muscle Man Malcolm, who loves Omos. I love Omos so much. I I can't get, I don't even know why I love Omos so much. Probably the same reason I love Great Kali. There's just something about those giants, and maybe they're not the best in the ring. But, but Omos um, is bad, but Omos is good, though. Omos is, I, I don't, yeah. I know he's, but you, I don't compare him to Great Kali because Kali could move. Omos is athletic. He's actually believable. I don't know what they're doing. I yeah, it seems like he was getting a lot more. I mean, obviously, when Vince was still there, I don't know if Triple H has like a clear cut path for him or whoever is in charge of Omos's booking. Uh, you know, I don't know if whoever it is has a has a good path for him. But I, I hope we do see him. It would be cool, and I think it would make sense if they stick with the Andre the Giant Memorial stuff. I think Omos could easily win that easily. Why not? You know, give it to another giant, and then maybe he actually has a, a path. But going back to Montez, so Montez and MVP, it would be money. I feel like MVP would be in a more of a Paul Heyman role because, yes, like he doesn't really need to, like Paul Heyman now, because he doesn't need to talk. He can when Montez maybe doesn't want to, but Montez is great on the mic just as is. So maybe while he's making that transition into more focused, MVP could be the mic man. This, by the way, this is my daughter Jasmine. She lives in North Carolina. She's thirty. Oh, so nice. Jasmine says she hopes that Montez turns on Dawkins. I don't want that to happen. I'm tired of tag teams turning on each other. I think they should just be like, look, I want to do my own thing. If you ever need me, I'm here for you. I don't think you have to turn on every tag team. I got no problem with Dawkins being a face and Montez being a heel, but I don't think you have to turn on your partner because then you got to get back. To, you know, partners always get back together. Oh, regardless. So I don't think you have to turn, you know. Um, let me ask you this: since we got Kerry Cross on screen, do you like his his new gimmick? I do because I've been waiting for Kerry and Cross to do something, and I love him with AOP. I think the whole stables, if I, if I have to say something that I've been a little bit um, kind of an oh shit, hold up. My computer is dying. But I, I think there's a lot of stables. And I think that that's a good thing. So people get TV time, but it could be a bad thing because people get like lost in the shuffle, obviously. And I haven't seen anything from this stable yet, the Karen Cross one that like screams to me, oh my God, they're so good. Like they could end in a week and we'd probably forget they existed type of thing. But um, but as of right now, you know, for what, like a month or so they've been around, I, I don't mind them. Do you like Paul Ellering being back? With AOP, I do like listen. The guy's a legend, Legion of yeah. Doom. You know, he's he's a legend. He, all he does is bring another level of um gravitas to the group. Um, yeah. legitimizes them. Not to mention, he's probably mentoring Carrion, helping him out with some things. I think Carrion's missing something. Don't know what it is. I interviewed him as well for a little while. Um, cool. by the way, um, guys, in case you don't know who Jono is, once again, check out his channel. Thank you. Um, re- rewind, recap, relive, right. Yeah, and I want to say thank you both for getting it getting it correct because the amount of people, mainly wrestlers, life. wrestlers who I love so much, it's a confusing name. But like I it have is. to make I have to make a botch like real blooper reel at one point because the because every time I end an interview I say hey can you say the name of the show just to you know get it up there whatever um, and it's like it's hilarious it really is so so thank you I don't know if that's a practice but I appreciate it. Just so you know, we're not kicking you out. We want you to stay. We just want you people to know where your channel is in case oh, yeah. you just drop, <laughs> jumped in. We don't, we don't, this, this one's just send off. And guys, he's already hit 10 million views, which is incredible. Congratulations on 10 million views. That's Thank that you. is awesome. In only 568 videos, that's crazy. Yeah, that's incredible because we're at 2 million videos. We had 2 million views with over a thousand videos. So that's incredible. So great job on that. Thank you, you know, yeah. in his last 30 days, 20, 2 million, 2 million views. That's crazy. That's great. And I've been able to see, see that since I can see, I can, I can see your analytics as you see. I have a, I have my um Is that TubeBuddy or what is it? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's um TubeBuddy and what else we have? We have VidIQ, so we have both okay. of them. We we you know I gotta start doing training more. We, you gotta help me on that one if you can. No, but um so what when was that spike? Now that that you could actually see them, when when did I hit the was that January? 
That was March, March, March 14th, to be exact. Oh, shit. That's a couple. Wow, 208,000 views. You, you like that, huh? I like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kira uh, does a lot with the um, production thing, you know. I just pay for everybody. You know? Well, that's all you got to do it too, buddy, is just pay for it. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, of course, we want, we want Montez and we want the Street Profits in this match for WrestleMania, of course, right? Yes. Here's a question for both of you. Is there going to be a oh. returning team? Returning team in this ladder match? Do we see? Do you want to know something that you brought that up? Rijin Bully Ray said something about being in that ladder match. He posted something on Twitter and that. was in like tag. He was like, listen, I don't know how they look now or how they look in the ring. I know that they've been. Dully boys? Yeah. I know no, that. Can't I, happen. Well, I know that Bubba <laughs> Ray has been doing a lot of deathmatch stuff, but I don't know how he is. I, I feel like we need D-Bunk, a. d can't do it. Mm-mm. I, mm-mm. No. 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 Not going to happen. <laughs> I feel like we do need a, a, a wild card I, type of tag team in there. Absolutely. I Matt, who, Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy was at Raw Monday, I by the way. That too. Yeah. Matt Hardy at Raw. The only two it can't be, it seems, is Edge and Christian because of what they're doing right now. Um, which they had an awesome like that was a great match that are listen. I, I I was I'm 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 upset with Edge's run. Because he used to be Edge to me. Yeah. Um but I was glad with that match. I was happy with that match. Mm-hmm. That wasn't for two guys in there late 40s early 50s incredible um now where do you go from there you know? that's a great that's question a yeah exactly but but and it was a blow off on like live tv too which i don't know if that matters as much to aw is like the culture has seen it matter for like wwe um, i think because they were in toronto you had to do it is their childhood dream mm-hmm. both of them in toronto they grew up there you know they they probably went backstage and just cried in each other's arms yeah um you had to do it there, you know. Not to mention to me, the premium live events or the pay per views for AW don't always hit home with me very well. I think there's too many yeah. matches, too many matches, and they don't have a lot of gravity. I don't think that. I think that when you go to Money in the Bank, you know. And by the way, I'm I have tickets for Money in the Bank in Toronto, so I will be in Toronto. I have That's I already bought. Amazing. Yes, I, I, I'm going. I'm definitely going. And Paris is fifty fifty right aye, now. Aye, aye. Yeah, so <laughs> let it go. Are you going to have Paris. all those belts up to go to Paris? No, 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 no. We only, only bring only thing I t- 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 carry with the YouTube title. YouTube but the thing is, this is that I want to hear the story I, about um, that when you finish. I want to hear the story about the YouTube belt, but finish what you're saying. <laughs> oh yeah, YouTube. Well, I mean, I can tell you real quick about the YouTube title. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. so I, you didn't get to meet Ruda. Ruda's my 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 brother from another mother, my partner. He run here. Can you get up the Ruda stuff? Oh, sorry, not this being way. a producer right now. Okay. Um, so I met Ru- Ruda. Um, I call him Ruda. Most people call him Mr. Ruda. He's a manager at PPW and BPW, real name Joel. Um, and what he does is he makes title belts. So let's, in fact, let's just show him this picture right here. Let's get this first. Oh, look so at him with me. Foxy. I love that. <laughs> that's me and Foxy right there, of course. And Ooh, of course, his, right. yeah, that's, that's that's outside. That's her truck. We're at dinner. This is Fonzie right here. This is Bill Alfonso, of course. He's a good friend Fonzie. of ours. Yeah. Um, he cut his promos. Oh, wow. I wonder where that guy's oh, stuff wow. is. What's that stuff? So anyway, so Ruda, um, this is Ken Hoover, who has the snack down grill out in Quaker Town. We have, we have, we have to do a, a road trip. Ooh, you have to come I would love this. that. Yeah. You'd love this. Because he does autograph signings here, and um, you you get some great content here. Oh, um, amazing. Wait, where is this? You said Quaker this Town? This is Quaker Town, PA. Yeah. It's, oh, only, an hour, it's yeah. only an hour away. It's only an hour away. No, that's probably about an hour and a half or something for me too. I'm in the city, so New York City. So yeah. So Ruda does a lot of titles for a lot of organizations. Wrestling is now SAT. He made their titles. Oh, these are the scenes that um. Where at, the heck were you? This I is the rumble. the rumble. I saw them at the <laughs> rumble. Yeah. So Ruda makes these titles, and Ruda gave away a title at the rumble. He gave a title away. That's what oh. he is. This is Ruda, right? He he's awesome. Um. So I met Ruda at um. Legends of look at that at Legends of Hamburg, um, two a year ago, a year ago, year ago January, and Bobby, he grabbed the European again, and he had this title sitting on his um table. I'm a big European mark, European title. I love I love the European title. I'm a big Owen Hart fan. Mm. 
when a guy should have been world champion. Um, so Ruda, and this Ruda makes these replicas. He made this, and I don't know if I well you can see it, but yeah, I um, see that. Wow, he's he's That's my very cool. own Paul Heyman. But um, and it, <laughs> here we go. No, that is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and I wanted to purchase it, but I really didn't have the money for it. Mm -hmm. And Ruda's like, hey man, listen. He goes, How bad do you want this time? I'm like, man, I love this bill. I said, Look, if you could just give me your number, hold it for me, and I'll just try to get you the money when I can. He goes, Bro, I trust you. Didn't know me from anybody. Didn't know I was 10 lines of Tony. And, <laughs> and yes, I'm yeah, he didn't know me for that. He goes, Um, bro, take it home with you. I trust you. What? He goes, take it home. He goes, he Did goes, you ever bro, call bro. it back? Did you lose his huh? number? Did you lose his number? <laughs> bro, I ran like I ran like the wind. No, but I am. Um, I took, he says, bro, take it home with you. I trust you. I was like, are you serious? He goes, bro, I have a feeling about you. I go, bro, I can give you 150 this week. I get paid. He goes, whenever you get it. I, I was on time. I paid him. You know, we've been friends ever since. So he goes, bro, you need a title. Yeah. I said, yeah, man, I'm the YouTube champion. But, I, you know, I had a, and I ain't going to lie to tell you before this, not so great. He had like four I, I, I got some made from some <laughs> other, some, you know, trophy, trophy smack, some other ones. They just weren't good. So then, Bobby, I need the Winged Eagle, please. The Winged Eagle YouTube. So I said, look, I love the Winged Eagle. Winged Eagle. Can you make me a title like the Winged Eagle? Oh, my God. They might pull upset here. One, two. No. Montez breaks it up. Excuse me. Angelo breaks it up. So he made me um YouTube title. And um, this was the original from him. This is a Winged Eagle YouTube title. That's nice, though. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like this one better. Yeah. Sorry, Ruda. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So she likes this one better, but it's very hard to carry. It's very heavy. And it's been used in a few matches, and two people have been cut by it. Is it because of the spikes or whatever? Yes, yes. Yeah. And they are sharp. Yeah. And of course, they win. Um, Street Profits <laughs> going to WrestleMania. Awesome. You know, you mentioned it earlier for like uh Dawkins to get in like better shape or whatever. He's looking great. Dawkins. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I think he heard me. <laughs> For sure. He watches the show. He watches the show. Well, Biggie watches the show. He Who told doesn't? me. Who doesn't watch the show? Biggie watches it. He told me. Um, so yeah, so anyway, Rudin made me that title and I loved it. But then for WrestleMania, I said, Yo, I need something better. For, I need something. Oh, wait, wait, what we're talking about stage on. Oh no. Oh, are we? I don't See? like. Wait, a, wait. Cause I thought they were both getting in. They're going against each other now. Street Profits and Theory and. Oh yeah. What? I want them both in there. So. So I wanted something. By the way, as you're telling me this, I'm I'm gonna follow Ruda right now. I love that. Yeah, follow Ruda Ruda Entertainment on um, on Instagram. Shout out to Anthony Linetti, my bro, who's oh. killing the game right now. I love it. You know yeah. Anthony? I do. We've yeah, we've been messaging. We're gonna do a prediction show coming up soon. Yo, so uh -huh. Anthony's part of this show as well. We used to be Anthony Graves, of course. Um, right. he's a good dude. He's a good dude. He he got his finger on the pulse of the business. He's a good friend of mine. He's awesome. I, I could actually say I'm his mint. I'm, maybe I was his mentor. You think so, Kira? I think he was I your think mentor. So. I think I was. You think he was my mentor? <laughs> maybe so. <laughs> anyway, so I told Ruda I wanted another YouTube title, but I wanted it a little more attitude era. Okay. And I wanted it I wanted top of the line. So the the one we just showed you before that is good, but it's not a CNC plate like the current one. Bobby, can you please let me I know Bobby and you get a lot of work today. But this one here, I we took time and designed this. Um it's gotta be one of the nicest um what's what I'm looking for here? Titles, yeah, but um, custom uh, custom oh. titles. So, I mean, I mean, here, undo it. So, it's got the old flavor to it. And if you saw this, I mean, I mean, you probably saw it up front, but there's a side plate as you can help me out, Bobby. The side plates, there you go. That's the WrestleMania logo, of course. Oh my gosh, the, wow. the TWF, the 10 Lives in Wrestling Federation logo, the old one that the WF did, and then, of course, my logo that's on my shirts, right. Yeah, but we can do it. So I mean, oh, right, it, it, yeah, that's a nice build. So wait, so that's number two. that is that the the main one? Is this the main? Current, one? That's the current. That's the okay. current one. That's that's the one AJ thinks he's gonna take for me, but it ain't gonna happen. We're gonna do that. 
wait a minute, look at that. Uh, I, I spotted Dave LaGreca through the, <laughs> through the yeah. Thing. So, so <laughs> Dave LaGreca is a friend of mine from Busted Open. Um, I'm one of the first, I used to listen to his show from the beginning. He used to know me as Tony the bus driver. His wife, Violetta, very nice to me. Dave LaGreca gives me a lot of advice. He will be on the show after WrestleMania. Connecting people to wrestling in house. Do you know him? He's the guy with the signs. With no. The yellow signs. I don't. Here. I don't. He goes everywhere. He has a giant connected people to wrestling signs. Always, you'll see him when, you, when, she, when she shows I'll, you. Yeah. Hold on. When she shows you, you'll know. There it is, Kira. Um, that's my friend Chris Parker. He's awesome. On YouTube? Yeah, he's on, oh, this is him on YouTube. He's a 34,000 square, but he shows he Ooh. has this sign. He, he takes it and people put their face in, and um he's awesome. He's an awesome dude. And I think honestly, I think he just gives the signs out to his friends he or does. to people because I see the sign and it's not even him holding it. So <laughs> he's just getting free advertisement out here. Yeah, he's awesome. Um look at these uh these views are wild wow yeah yeah so yeah this oh look he's googleable too yeah, this is chris right he's, he goes everywhere yeah and if you just you can search him everywhere this video right here got 2.9 million views with undertaker and um mick foley at rick flair's last match mm -hmm. and he also connects people to reggae i'm pretty sure i'm in one of these somewhere look but, at the you know. briscoes that's sick yeah the briscoes yeah yeah He's an awesome dude. He's a good, he, he called me yesterday. This is him. He called me yesterday to check in on me, but I was in a meeting. I couldn't talk to him. He has a smaller version, too, but he's a good dude. Very, so very shout out nice to my man. boy, Chris. I love you, Chris. He's, That's a, he's a really a good no. Yeah, I'm definitely going to follow him, too. Connecting people. Nice to meet you, Chris. He's a good... He's a good... He's not just a wrestling fan. He's a good man. Like, he's he's honestly... He's the kind of dude that's just so laid back, but... um. When you talk to him, you feel his aura. You feel his. You feel that he's real. I feel like he has a lot of wisdom. He has. He has <laughs> yes. For a younger person, he has a lot of wisdom. He tells me a lot. Shout out to Brian Blackman, who's my road, my road, my road dude. We do we do stuff on the road together. He's he lives in a Minnesota. WrestleMania coming to Minnesota might be staying at your house, bro. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, uh, you think it's actually going to go to Minnesota? I hope it goes to LA. I hope it goes to Vegas because my son lives in I Vegas. Know. I wanted to go to Vegas, so I've never been to Vegas, and I could use the trip as an excuse. We just came back from the from the press conference, and it was incredible. We went to the Win, um, the Win Hotel buffet, a hundred dollars a person. It was worth it. A oh. <laughs> hundred dollars so, a person. It was worth it. Kira does not like to spend money. Kira handles the finances. She is so frugal, <laughs> but I, I I slipped this one in on her, and um. I said, we're going. A hundred bucks a person. And guess what? We ate like kings and queens. There was not one normal food there. It was incredible. Are you a, are you a picky eater? Yeah. Her or me? I, I was talking to her because she said not one normal yeah. food. That's something I would say because I'm, I'm not a <laughs> eater at all. Are you a picky eater, Tony? So I'm going to – I can't even show you that picture. Maybe I can. So prior to what I look like now, I um I used to be in shape a long time ago. And I got sick during right before COVID, and um, I gained a lot of weight. I actually uh weighed four hundred pounds. What? Um, you weighed four hundred pounds? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to get the picture for you. Four ten to be exact. It was four ten to be exact. She's right. Four ten. Um, as of so this may. This may will be three years that I got gastric um sleeve surgery. Um, I was always in shape as a, I was always in shape up until I turned like 45, 46. I got sick, um, gained a lot of weight. Just, it just happened. Um, but, um, to save my life, I got the surgery. A lot of people didn't think I was going to make it. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you real quick. That's me and my boy. It's me and my, hold on, it's me and my boy Omos right there. Oh, I love it. That's at SummerSlam. We went to SummerSlam on WWE last year. Thanks to Michael. I, Michael that I remember. Yeah, with your son, yeah. right? That's a great video. Yeah. So, um... He's... Oh, look, anyway. He's, he, oh, was, he shook hands with Mikey. It was... Oh, Mikey, the little six-year-old. It was yeah. insane. I can't <laughs> imagine oh. how little that hand was to look. That's Kira as a baby. <laughs> Aw. Dad, will you stick to what you're trying to do here? <laughs> <laughs> 
You're going through your whole feed. Right. <laughs> um, who was that guy? Like, who was that? That dressed like a million. Like bucks. Rudy Ray. Like Rudy Ray Moore. <laughs> yeah. So I, st- I thought it was Dolomite. I, I was like, this is Dolomite. I met this guy at the supermarket. I said, it's Dolomite. Everybody. No, at the supermarket. Look just like him. The ring announcer is live on Instagram right now. Aren't you supposed to be ring announcing? Yeah. Me and Sam Roberts. Oh, I love it. Me and, La- me and Dave LaGreca holding the YouTube title, of course. LaGreca's awesome. Um, the OG YouTube title, I say. Yeah. Oh, this guy has too many subscribers. This is Rag. I forget his Rag Donut. Uh, he does some stuff. Will you get to it. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> oh, my God. When this, when we, this is my first met Ruda. That's the first okay. day we met. I'm um, sorry. No, no. Oh, one of my live shows at um a restaurant. Oh, you did a live show? We got to do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, we got the connections to do it too. Look, I have my own. I have my own. Um, I have my own. Um, menu. Special menu. <laughs> Special menu. <laughs> Rick Flair. Shoot. That was a surprise. We didn't, we didn't even know that was happening. Yeah, we didn't even know. We said, yeah, look, Rick Flair shooter six dollars. Bud Light can three sixteen. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, three sixteen. Yeah, I awesome. didn't even. <laughs> I'm trying to go all the way back. We have a lot. We go a lot of places. Um, but that's where you guys specialize. I feel that's what I haven't gotten into is because I started this during COVID. My thing has mainly been virtual. Like that event you saw us at, that was the second time mm-hmm. ever that I took anything on the road for like content wise, um, yeah, interviewing yeah. people. So like, I feel like, yeah, mer- merging, merging some strengths together for sure. Cause I got to go to more mm-hmm. of these live things. Yeah. This honestly, we don't do it as much now, but we used to give out like. Look at that! That's two years ago. Look at him, <laughs> for, for, foreshadowing, baby. He for sure does not have that hat. Anymore. He does. He told me he does. He lied. He lied. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> but we used to go to these live shows and give out like uh, business cards, and that's how we got a lot of the subscribers that we um, have now. Honestly, we used to get yeah. thousands and thousands of business cards. I've never heard of a YouTuber that's done that before. I was like, the first time he said that, I was like, Dad, you're insane. Nobody uses business cards. It worked. But it worked because they because they get home from that event and they look in their pocket and they're like, what the hell is this? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they subscribe. They really remember it, too. So yeah. you can see my face here, how big I was there. Mm-hmm. Um, And then let me see. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I was huge. Oh, yeah. I have a picture. Look at that. Yeah, there's one picture where I'm, I, oh, here we go. This is me doing my Carlton day. Look at it. Look at this. Look how big I was. You are big. This is during COVID. But I love the dance. <laughs> yeah, I was doing the Carlton. Yes. So, yeah, I was here. And this is us doing our little, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I see. You yeah, hey, I was here. Skip it, Dad. Skip no, it. Get, this, get back to the point. This is us doing, um, <laughs> Us doing a uh, high school musical. You know, I just watched that movie like last year. I'd never seen high wow. school. I know. I'd never seen it. Someone had to show me all all three of them or whatever, back to back to back. That's how you got to do it. This is my biggest. This is me and Boom Baby. Look how big I was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you could tell. Uh, when I yeah. graduated high school, I was like 290. Um and so, and I lost a lot. That was way before COVID. But like, I I went through like I gave up soda and stuff, and I I went through that weight loss period. But that was before hundred is yeah. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. What you're doing now, you look oh, great. And uh, oh, Belinda Child's good seeing you guys. Sorry, we're talking personal stuff. Roman's in the ring right now. But yeah, um, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry if this is like uh, you know, step it up. We usually do if you want. No, you- no, 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 bro. Trust me, it's what we do. This is why they come here. They should be watching SmackDown anyway. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Tribal Chief, listen to what he says. There's a lot of time left. Yeah, 20 minutes, right? Is this going to end the show? Yes. What? Come on. Here's, my thing. Here's my thing about Roman. The Rock's dressing in fifty dollar, five hundred dollars yeah. shirts. They're more than five hundred dollars. I just realized that today when he was walking into the 
Pat McAfee show, I was like, does this man wear anything but black sweatpants and his merch? <laughs> Big bucks. The OSP signals up. Oh gosh. The OSP. So this is uh, my friend Pat. He's telling me it's time to play video games after this match. <laughs> so. Okay, Cody. Let me ask you about your setup. So this setup that you're sitting in right now is this just like a room and you're like, do you have to take anything down and you just get up and go do no. something? That's you know. so. So the if we go to the go to the first show, go to us. We're getting the history lesson. Let's give me history lesson. So, so we we used to be in the living room, right? Okay. And it was we had no good microphones. We had nothing. It was it sound the sound was terrible. So what we did was this. We figured out if we're going to um, do this, we had to make it look like a real studio. So what we did was we took over Bobby's bedroom. <laughs> but, we split, but we split it in half. So his room is big enough where we have a giant desk right here. It's about maybe two and a half feet long, right? Oh, I see. Maybe, yeah. maybe three feet long. And then the belter on the wall and all his stuff, his shit, his bed, his TV, everything is that way. <laughs> that shit pushed aside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all he needs is a bed. He's fine. <laughs> this is what it used to look like. Um, that was the collection. Oh my god! That's all we had was uh, sixteen titles. No, that's we, nothing. We had we had sixteen. No, we had two. Why four, am I saying we like that's my two, four, six, eight. <laughs> no, yeah, we had sixteen titles. That was two years ago, and now we're at. I don't know, 38, 39, I don't even know what it is. Yeah, no. But yeah, this is the way it used to look. Okay. And as you can say, I I, I stayed pretty much the same, look the, the same in the last two years. Yeah. I gain, I lose, I gain, I lose. It's tough. People point out all the time, oh, Tony, you lost, you, you gained 20 pounds. Eh? Well, shut up. You know, it ain't easy. Get out of here. It ain't here. easy. <laughs> but um, chat that kind of talk. Yeah, give it a like. Why not? Right. <laughs> exactly, but um, and thank you, Pat, for the two dollars. I will be up as soon as the show's over. We'll close out. You know, let's give him a super chat. What are you doing, Karen? I'm trying to get this thing off the screen. Oh, well, go, go ahead, do it. I'll okay, <laughs> give him the super chat. Okay, I'll thanks for the super, super chat. What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, Magnificent Mikey, and thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding ding. Ding ding! So that's my youngest son. He's six, and he's he's the one that got us viral and with got Roman. us to SummerSlam with yeah. Roman, which is it was incredible. We need to get him more involved. The youngest, one, the youngest one got you all to SummerSlam. That's such a cool story. It really. Yo, is. so let me tell you what's so crazy. So we put, we did the video, we did the video on a whim, yeah. Um, at my bus yard, Kira edited it, and then I said throw a couple things, and she did. We put it up. She was, Dad, why are you doing this? I said, trust me, Kira. We put I it still on, think it sucks. <laughs> we put it on Twitter. We tagged, we tagged WWE. We tagged Rome. We tagged everybody. And then I looked at it like 10 minutes later, and it was it said Roman Reigns. It had a finger up in the air. Mm -hmm. She was like, is that the real Roman Reigns? I said, is that real? So I, saw, I said, oh, my gosh, real. And after that, bloop, about a day later, mm -hmm. I get an email from WWE to call them. That we want to sit, we want to talk to you guys. And then we get the phone, we call up. Or they called us. We left the number, they called mm -hmm. us. And we actually taped this. We're gonna play it like another day. We never put up. Um, we love your video, we love what you did with your son. Would you like to come to an event? I was like, sure. Where do you guys live? I said, We live in Delaware. I said, We live real close to Philly. <laughs> I said, I know, I said, I know WrestleMania is next year. I put I shot my shot. You really so, well, WrestleMania. <laughs> I I said we I said listen I know it's only uh what was it it was maybe May maybe June it was June because he graduated I said no yeah. it's only June I said but I got no problem waiting till next year she was that's a little far away but how would you like to come to SummerSlam in Detroit I was like love it I'm there yeah. um <laughs> love it she goes send us a list of how many people you want to come you want to bring and we brought our family and um we went to SummerSlam we stayed at the same hotel with them. We were backstage. We met Ricochet. We met um, Chad Gable. We met Logan Dom Paul. Dom. Logan Paul walked right past me. Mm. It, we missed it. He was. We were videoing something else, and we didn't realize it was him. If I'd got him, I probably had a million subscribers already. You're talking to Big E. I, I was talking and, to Big and, E. And, and... Well, I got a cool Logan Paul story. Um, Let's hear it. 
So when I went to Dallas, I did that on like a whim. I wasn't going to go to that mania. And then I was like, whatever, like my first, two, I want to go to like a two night mania. I think that was, yeah, that was my first two nighter. And I had no one to go with, but I just went by myself and uh, I stayed in this hotel. I don't know how I was so bad with the workings of like where everything was in Dallas. My hotel ended up being like 30, 40 miles away from anything. So, but luckily wow. I had friends that were staying in the area so I could crash their place. But anyway, um, so I go there, I'm going to fan access and I'm about to go into that like convention center. And then like, I look, and this was Logan Paul's first WrestleMania with WWE. So I look like a hundred feet in the distance. I see this golf cart just crash into a ditch. And I was like, what is that? Like, what the hell? So I kind of like walk towards it and there's like five people, no wrestling fans, just five kind of people looking at what it was. And it was Logan Paul and his friends. And they, it was like somebody who just gifted, it's on his Instagram still, like picture of him in the mm -hmm. golf cart, but it had stalled. So he can't get away. He's just like kind of standing there, like doesn't really know what to do. So me and like five people walk up and we're like, they're like, are you okay? And meanwhile, I'm like, oh my God, it's Logan Paul. Could I get a picture? <laughs> um, we took a picture and then I like took my phone out and I'd asked him, I did like a very brief interview. I was like, can I ask you a question? He was like, absolutely. So I filmed it I, almost like TMZ style. I was just like, hey, nice. are you going to stick around WWE after WrestleMania? I think that was the only question I asked him. And then maybe something about Rey Mysterio because that's who he was going against that year. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, it was cool. It was a crazy moment. And like, it felt like we we're in this little bubble because I had never been at a thing where I was the only, like a wrestling thing where I was the only fan. Like the other people were just random civilians being like, who is this mm -hmm. guy? Then he just got after that. He got up and just walked away, like left the golf cart. What? I was like, is someone else gonna get that? Like, <laughs> He's got people for that. People. Man, <laughs> you never know when you're gonna bump into somebody. Like you gotta always be ready. You it's gotta crazy. Exactly. But, that, oh, but that's great. Content like that, and you never. Yeah, and I mean, and if they're cool with it, even better. I feel like so, obviously the WWE people like they gotta go through a lot of so food. much. Like, to be able to like do any any type of media, but when you're able to get one and they're like, absolutely, oh my, you just got to be ready. Like, got to be ready, and that's the thing, man. That's why. I, listen, I I I take my opportunities when I can. Sometimes I got to do a little chicanery to get there, but they they tell you to hurry up. I'm like, I don't listen. My thing, I spend my money on this product. If I get a chance to ask somebody a question, I'm gonna do it. I got some I got some plans for WWE World. They're in for they're in for a shock. I can't um, wait because we WWE World. Yeah, we're there Thursday for Cody, and we're there Monday for Bianca. Okay, all right, cool. I think we're gonna try to go Saturday. Well, I'm mixing it up because I want to try to stagger like WrestleCon and W World. I'm trying to find the best days to do that. I don't also think check out 2300 Arena, the um block party. Oh, really? Is I definitely am going to the 2300. I've never been. Yeah. But I and you don't belong to Mania Club, do you? No. You should join Mania Club on Facebook. Okay. Trust me. When you go, just find a, find a link here. I, I sent you your phone. And when you fill out the questionnaire, tell them I sent you. Say, Tay Lanza Tony sent okay, me. Hello. And trust me, that's a group you want to be in. All right. I will. And, and I'm going to, when are you guys at WrestleCon? Because I have to come by and see you, obviously. Every day, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Mm. Okay. The fourth, they're doing something. I'll be there, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Nice. Are you staying in the WrestleCon hotel? I'm not. I'll, I'll, I'll give you, I'll tell you where I'm staying. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was, Saturday was sold out, so I didn't want to split it up. But I'm I'm right by the world where world is, so which okay. works out great. Nice. No, that's good stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely but, coming by to see that. I don't know what Cody's saying right now, but I'll find yeah. out. I'm gonna find out later. He mentioned oh. the shield. I love the shield. Ooh. Are they gonna mention Dean Ambrose? No, they don't need to. Yeah, it was Cody. It was Cody and, 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 and Dustin. They beat the Shield first for the tag titles. I And Big Show. I remember Big Show came and knocked out uh, Ambrose. I remember that. They took the tag titles from him. That's true. Does Dustin come? Oh, I want Dustin. you so bad. I think so. Oh. Wow. Mission Bullet Club. Hmm. <laughs> Shout out to the new merch. 
That just sold some shirts. Yeah, definitely sold some shirts. Remember when they were all over Hot Topic? That was crazy. Yeah. I'm looking at everyone in the crowd is like, look, he mentioned the club. <laughs> it's split. Crazy dynamic. Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't trust Seth. He hates you more. Honestly, I don't trust anybody involved in this match. I don't trust you. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Can you trust the right? The seeds have been planted. The rock. <laughs> No way can he trust the rock at WrestleMania. I think I'm going to that Raw in Brooklyn on Monday. I'm going to be there. I got my tickets. Oh, wow. That's a lot of driving. You know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> but you don't have to be anywhere on the first though. No, because I'm, I'm off. When you get a chance, text me your where, where you're sitting. Okay, I will. I'm coming. They announced the rock. That's <laughs> probably sold out in the next. Don't worry about it. I got my. Hours. I got my ways. Got his ways. Yeah, you should. You should <laughs> absolutely be there because I was telling Jeremy. I'm like, this is the last stop. Should we do it? And it was. Yeah, we decided we want to go because after right after we head to Philly, like two days later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to see Sam Roberts on the third at the Helium Comedy Club. That's when we get in as the third. That's when everything kind of starts, right? Yeah. 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 LOL. Cody's a good guy. He pulls out kids out of the crowd. We love Cody, too. Cody's awesome. That's all you do. Uh Uh-oh. When did he lie? Oh. Wow. Number two. Number two at the bottom of my shoe. Who said that? Thank you, Tom, for the super chat. Sammy. Wow. Thank you, Tom. Tom Gardner. He's awesome. He's you'll see a lot of same people. Yeah. Thanks for the super chat, bro. That smolder he gives at the end is great. <laughs> it gets better every time he records it. Look at this. This is his first one. Watch this. Thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding ding. That's cute. Dude. That's with the first you with the first YouTube title in his hand. Look at this piece of crap. Thanks for the super chat, baby. Ding ding. This is nice. That's a. A gorgeous looking belt. Um, I remember when I was younger and I met Zack Ryder, my friend and I made like, we were like 11. We made this like tinfoil internet championship that he used to have, you know? And I mm-hmm. guarantee he looked at this and he was like, oh, and as soon as we walked away, he threw that shit in the garbage because it was like <laughs> purely tinfoil and cardboard. It was bad. Oh. Oh, he's Ooh, giving wow. Roman his uh give him, prop, give him his flowers. Prop. Give him his flowers. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Roman's faces, his his facials are the best in the business. I, I awesome. think he's like a cartoon mm-hmm. character. <laughs> Oh. oh, Cody's the one. 
Uh oh. That's got Roman thinking. Shake his hand, Roman. Oh, oh. Ooh. Almost. Almost. I feel like Roman has like two different personalities yeah. that he fights with. Like he battles his own demons. Like he's he a has a manipulative he, person, like a manipulative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you say those two personalities are? Um, Face and heel. <laughs> I think he's paranoid. He's paranoid. And the other one is he wants to be loved, but. Oh, wow. He shook his hand. Oh, he shakes the wise man's hand. No, I think one side of him wants to. Um, the the one that we see all the time, like the, the mean one, is like fighting with his good side, kind of, because that's what's getting him to where he is, if that makes sense. I want to see these guys fight, man. Uh, WrestleMania, Dad. There's still time left on the show. There's a lot. He comes solo, probably. Five minutes. He just called him stupid. Roman, that's a mean word. Oh, he snapped uh -oh. his fingers. Thanos? Is that you? <laughs> Why'd you snap your fingers? Is it over? Is that it? There is a person holding a Paul Heyman ECW sign in the front row, and uh -huh. I only saw the sign. And wearing an ECW oh. thing. There's Solo, I told you. Oh, and Jimmy. There's Jimmy. Honestly, he didn't even try to beat up Roman. So what are y'all doing? You're just a bunch of bullies. Look at them coming in like the shield. That's intimidation. It's okay, Cody. Don't you have friends too? Why is Jimmy so angry? Like I love it though. Jimmy's fuming. Yeah. Sometimes I cannot take Jimmy seriously. <laughs> I think Jimmy did his best work on Monday night. Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. With Jay, yeah. Hear the pain I love how voice. he wears red and Jay wears blue. And they're opposite brands, the opposite <laughs> color. That's a detail that I wonder if that's on purpose. It probably is. It is on purpose to say that they're still, like, in sync with each other. Mm -hmm. But it gets each other at the same time. I think Jay Uso is in my top five right now of like current people. Like his his wow his rise is incredible. Top five of current, like it's great. He is a look at Cody. Face. I think Cody's got Seth and 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 um Jay. Watch. I mean, not right. Oh, maybe there's Jay. Jay, Jay with the black hoodie in the crowd too. Oh. Seth. oh. Ha ha! Ha ha! He beat you nice. at your own game, buddy. He's two steps ahead, kid. Oh! <laughs> what do you think we're <laughs> stupid? I like it. I like it a lot. Wow! wow that's the turntables. Awesome. That's a great visual. This is gold. And the music changes. This is gold. You thought you look had at Paul's him? face. You thought you had him, Roman. Do you remember? Do you do you know who Seth Rollins is? He's known you for how long? He knows the ins and outs of your plans. Jay is in the bloodline. He knows the ins and outs of your plans. Come on. What a Come visual. On. What a way to end it. Fantastic visual. You're right. Oh my god. You know, and they and they 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 calculated. They didn't let them touch each other. Yeah. Calculated. What? Do you think is uh what solos WrestleMania have Cena? Spot? I, I think wanna, I wanted to be Cena so bad, but when we're 14 days away, I uh -huh. think they don't announce it till night of honestly. Cena doesn't even need a story to be I there. I think they surprise us. I think we're in for a lot of surprises. I, I, I hope so. This is WrestleMania 40, guys. This is the 40th WrestleMania. There's things that they're gonna do that's gonna blow our mind. I think we see The Undertaker. I, mm -hmm. I, I. Listen, I know this might sound crazy. We know the match is never going to happen. But if we hear the gong, I don't think Undertaker even walks to ringside. I think they hear the gong, and he's in the ring. And then I think the lights go out again, and I think we see Sting. I 
L- listen, his career's done. His contract's probably up. And who's the one guy that can get away with doing that? You know what I mean? You think you think even if he still is on under contract with with um with AW, you don't think that Tony Khan would say, you know what? I mean, this they, guy's done everything. They didn't even let him use the the videos. In his but then, but but, that's, but, but we're gonna sue you. You think you're gonna sue Sting? You think Tony, Tony Khan's gonna sue Sting? Think about that. Oh no, I don't think he would sue Sting. But I'm wondering what like. What is that? Not what does it lead to? Because that's fine being just a one Just the face, what? just the face off, just, just the face off. off. Yeah, listen, I think people be happy with that. We're never gonna get that match. That match should have happened years ago. It's never gonna happen. But right. listen, I'm just, I'm go, I'm fantasy booking so much because I think that this WrestleMania is gonna. They have to just do everything. I think we get everything. I think we're gonna get. I think we get Stone Cold too. Oh, I, think, I, I definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Listen, if I think I think if bloodline rules, I think and, and they can't come down. I think who's the who's the Rock's arch rival? It's Stone yeah. Cold Steve Austin. You're, no, I agree with you. I think like I've been saying that like if Bloodline wins and the Rock is interfering, the only person I want to see stopping the Rock is Stone Cold. Could you imagine that they get each other they're in the ring and he gets to stun Rock one more time? One more are time? You, are you kidding me? I feel like oh. all the legends will be in the building and they'll have like a like a segment because it's WrestleMania 40. You know how they did the 2K24 thing and they had all the legends on the cover? Yeah. I think they're all, all in the building already. So maybe Stone Cold, that could be like his reasoning of like could why be. he's there. Not to mention, we got, we. do you think Jay and Jimmy open night one or night two? Uh, they're definitely opening one of them. Um, I think night one. I want to say night one because I don't so know where, I don't okay. know. Because I don't know what is happening with the main event. I feel like that would change my answer, maybe. Like, so, like if Cody and Seth win, then I would say maybe they open night two. But I'm going to say night one, yeah. Where do you put Seth and Drew? Seth and Drew? They're night two, but where do you put them? Um, do they open night two? Or do they... Do you put them right before... Do you put them a match before... Do you put a match in between them and Rock... I mean, Roman, Roman, and um, Cody. They're co-main eventing. Yeah, co-main event doesn't I mean they're back to back though. Big bucks over in the corner. <laughs> what you say? They're co-main eventing. They're, yeah, but co-main what, event. What the co-main main event, event? But co-main event doesn't mean you go back to back. What main event is in the beginning of the show? Let me tell you something. Okay, let me explain something to you. WrestleMania eight, Macho Man Randy Savage versus Ric Flair, and Hogan versus Sid. Ric Flair and Macho went on fifth. Hogan and Sid went on last. So you don't have to be. You have to go back to back. You also had. Later. You also had Mania Thirty Five where Brock and Rollins uh, opened the show. That's true. Brock and Rollins in New York. They Brock and Rollins. Main event? It was called main event. Yeah, Brock and Rollins opened this show. True story. Yeah. Um, even though it was a squash match, but whatever. We're not going to talk. It's crazy about that. Yo, Seth Rollins came. I couldn't believe that. That was crazy. I was pissed. I loved Brock. <laughs> I'm such a Brock guy. You know, recent events aside, like back then, I loved Lesnar, and um, and I was so angry that it was a squash. You know, all I could think was like, damn, Brock just wanted to get out of New York as fast. He wanted to get out. Yeah, he wanted to get out. Let me ask you a question. You made a comment about recent um things aside. Did you did you cover anything about this whole McMahon thing at all? Did you did you touch it at all? No, me no, neither. I, I don't really have an opinion to give. You know, per se, like our. I don't have not an opinion to give. I don't think my opinion is like what. What are we gonna add to that? Like, we're, our brands have nothing to really do with that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I'm not really about that myself. Saying, why did you cover it? Because there's nothing to cover now. If there's any charges, and we get some trials, we get you know. Then maybe you know. Then, but until yeah, then, yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, mention it. But me personally, it's like I love doing this to like, and that's another thing I like to, that I respect Chris Van Vliet so much about is like the positivity of a brand like yeah and. Growing a brand in an industry where there are a lot of like slimy stuff, growing it with like class and and respect, I think is like, I think it's impressive. So, so I try to stay away from things like that. Yeah. What content creators do you listen to? Do you who who are the guys you listen to that are notable other than Chris Van Vliet? Um, let's see. I don't listen to a ton of podcasts. I listen to like a lot of little interview things. Like uh, mm-hmm. Cafe de Rene is another podcast that I help out. Um with like tech and stuff that goes like way back, like two years now. Um, they've got a pretty good following. Uh, Chris Van Vliet's up there. Uh, and then of course the, the guys who are more 
towards our level um, that I started alongside like Circle of Debate. You know, Ivan, he's a soldier. Like he watches so much content. What about Suplex? You ever heard of Suplex? No, I haven't. Well, we had to hook you with Suplex. And of course, Muscle Man Malcolm was incredible. I'm gonna tell um, you, I'm gonna tell you another show that's really good. They love to say they're the best show that nobody watches. Count it out, seven. <laughs> He's a great friend of mine. He's in uh, Toronto, actually. He's in Canada. His name's Tyler. Who is it? What's it called? His name, it's called Counted Out 7. And they, yeah, like I said, greatest show nobody watches. Um, they're, they've they been doing it for about almost four years now. And they've got some, they've talked to some amazing people. they got some great deals going on. They're on the Impact Press team. They got good stuff. But with, with, Mike, with Mike and Tyler? That's the one. Yep, Tyler's my guy. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, plug it right. Let me. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, he'd be happy about that. They're really trying to get to 500. We'll uh, get him there. Are another... They are another one. Hey, yo, um, chat, listen up. Share this with everybody. Go go, go subscribe right now. That's in order. Go subscribe I'm... to these guys just because I said so. Thank you. <laughs> That's an order. That's an order, chat. <laughs> Let, let's see it move. We're, right now, they're at 492. Let's give them to the 500. There's no excuse. Give them the 500 right now. They're 492. Let's go. 493. Let's go. Come on, guys. Keep it going. I'm refreshing all 10 seconds. I want to see them at 500. There's no excuse. The link is there. Let's support these guys. All right? Let's get them there. Refresh. I, I, you're still at 493. What in the blue hell are you guys doing? Let's go. Come on. Oh, uh, he's going to love that. No, I appreciate that. He's trying... <laughs> He is trying so hard, and they just got a spon uh, like a whole sponsorship thing, so they're they're excited. But but they're holding it down on the in the Canada side, um, and yeah, that's that's my like community right now. If we're listening to, other than that, like right before, uh, whenever I'm not ninety four. Oh, there they go. Whenever Sorry. I'm not, no, I was gonna say whenever I'm not like working or like doing a show with someone, I'm working on my own thing. So I'm trying to I try to like give you up the time. I know you definitely understand that. I'm sure when you're. You just say you said at the start of this you do this more than your real job, and I respect that so much because finding that balance. It's, it's tough. Um, the problem is that I get tired. You know, I get tired, and there's a lot of things I want to do. Like I have so many, I have so many thumbnails I took here to make during the day that I'm going to make for a show, and I haven't made them yet because yeah. it's just so much. But um, they're at 494. I'm trying to wait till they get to 500. Everybody get there. Yo, guys, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't see only two people subscribed, and I still see people in this room. There's the link. Go to Count It Out with Mike and Tyler and subscribe to them. Get them to 500. I mean, what, what kind of bull crap are you guys doing? This is what <laughs> it, I'm, about to, I'm about to cut this promo. Give me a big screen here, please. Yes, sir. I'll fix that. that. Hold on, fix that. We'll take the home. Fix that for. I know what I'm there doing. There we go. <laughs> Listen, jabronis, here we go again with this crap. This is the reason why I'm not at 10,000. You guys always complain about, Tony, you're so great. Your content's awesome. You're the best. Well, here's the problem. You never share. You never bring your friends. Where's your friends? Where's your... You got no friends. That's the problem. You got no friends. You're a bunch of losers. Now, I said it. You want to be a winner again? Be a winner. Get this guy to 500. Let's, let's refresh. He's a 494. It better say 495 in about 10 seconds. What is wrong with you people? It's still at 494. Yo, I got a guest here tonight, and you're making me look bad in front of my friend Jonah. Now, 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 get your crap together. Get your stuff together, okay? Get it together, okay? I know you guys see it. I'm gonna put, here it is. See, I'm going to take it down. Take it up. There's the <laughs> link. See the link? Gone. There it is. Gone. There it is. Thank you, Daniel. Let's see. Let's refresh. Four nine. Daniel, you're a liar. <laughs> it might be taking time to refer. It might be taking time. I take it yeah, back, yeah. Daniel. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, Daniel, we take it back. But you, but listen, I better. I'm gonna do a short on this alone. Okay, we're gonna do a short on counting out with Mike Todd. If they don't hit 500, I am. Un, I am gonna kick all you out of here. I'm gonna freeze this whole thing. Anyway, um, but these, well, I'm gonna keep this up for the rest of the show. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm leaving it up. That's 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 what you get. Um. Before we go, Jonah, because I have to go play video games. and then oh, no, I, I saw the OSP signal. I'm wondering the what The signal up. went up. That guy OSP wants two signal. dollars back. <laughs> yeah, that stands for Old School Pimps. It's my clan. We've been together oh, since... Oh, I know so about we've been together. Yeah, that's we've been awesome. Since um, 2001. True story. 
Okay, that's that's early oh days of class. PlayStation <laughs> Two, SOCOM, Navy SEALs. Jeez. Yeah, Tw yeah, twenty. My 23, 20, wait, 23? Showing your age, kid. Man. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'm trying to refresh. Let me refresh again. I'm real upset. <laughs> we can see that. I'm pissed. Why is this up 494? I know people. You look, you know is, honestly, it's much more than he even deserves, and Tyler knows it. You could, you wow. Could get the screen. You could get wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, um, Joan, let me say this to you. First of all, let's yeah. get his channel because that's what, you know. Guys, if you have not already subscribed to my boy, um, Jonah, please do so. He is awesome. It was great having me tonight. Hopefully, you'll be back. You have, vocal, you have an open door policy. Here. Thank you. Um, this was so much fun. Honestly, Tony and Kira and like the whole tantalizing Tony nation, the nation of tantalization, right? That's oh, my God. He, <laughs> you remember my jeans. I love it. Absolutely. Um, look, I love it. We got to talk anytime you're ready. Let's. Get together. We'll see each other for Mania. We'll get some content together. Yes. Um, I definitely want to come by your table. You've got Alicia Fox, right? I mean, you have a few. I will guarantee you an interview with her. Thank you. I, that means a lot. And we should definitely do something. I was thinking of doing something at the 2300 Arena. I've never been. And I just think oh. that that content could be amazing. We I, I wrestled there. I actually wrestled there. Yes. Crazy, right? Cool. Yes. I've got. I've got one bucket list thing to do. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but to wrestle the garden would be awesome. Oh my! But um, you know, I've been to twenty three hundred arena too many times. You've I'm been, sick of it now. We'll be, speaking of that, we'll be there tomorrow for TNA. Yeah. Hey, yeah where, you are going gonna where are you going to be yeah, at twenty three hundred arena tomorrow? What? TNA. I didn't know TNA was how much tomorrow. That's sick. You found out last minute. We'll be there tomorrow. Oh, nice. Still available. What's tomorrow? Saturday. No, Saturday. I got a friend's birthday tomorrow that I have to commit to. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be going to his birthday party next year. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually Look, seeing Jeremy tomorrow. Jeremy, Jeremy's actually making okay. himself available. He made himself scarce tonight. But what a, yeah, what a, what what a loser! Can he come? He gets a he gets an invite to the greatest show in the history of the business, and the guy doesn't show Where up. Where is he? Yeah. yeah, he gets a chance to get tantalized and doesn't show. Wow. <laughs> What a what a what a loser! No, look, Jonah. Thanks for coming, man. We really I had a good time. It was awesome. I had a and great if, time. This was nice. Like I said, like positive vibes. I mean, this is a good. You got a really good crew here too. I mean, this is constant discussion, like in the chat. Uh, best producer around sitting next to you, and and you've got and who I <laughs> gotta gotta give big bucks, Mike, or is that? Oh no, big bucks, Bobby. big bucks, Bobby. Big bucks, yeah. big bucks, Bobby, magnificent. Triple Mike. B. I'm getting the whole family down in my head. <laughs> There's a lot of us. It's double, okay. you got double M, and then got triple B, Big Boss Bobby, and she's just the, the she's the producer. Stop Kira. saying it like that. <laughs> the producer. She hates DA. But, but yeah. seriously, I'm so happy that we met at the big event, like, and Me actually too. got to talk and everything. This is going to be an awesome relationship, and this has been such a fun live stream, really. So thank you. No, for and me. no, appreciate you, humble with the Hot Wheels gears on them. Was yeah, it was amazing. And guys, and my people are they're loyal. They they're here, they hear every night that I'm on, man. It's incredible. So, listen, man. Anytime you want to come back, like here's the thing. I'll shoot your invite every show I do. You see it if you wanted to come. You always have an open invite to pop in. Okay. So, Thank you. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Anything? Anywhere people can reach you on social media. You want to promote your stuff or whatever, like you know. Then yeah, sure. If you you see right there at R three Jonah, that's probably the easiest one to type in just on Twitter, and you'll find me. Um. Right there, yeah, there it is. Oh, you guys got this stuff down. <laughs> R3 Jonah, Rewind, Recap, Relive on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. Um, it's the hardest to type in, but it is the most active. You'll find me. And then, uh, and then of course, obviously, YouTube. And I'm, I just put out an interview today with Ricardo Rodriguez and a great rising star um, alongside of Axel Rico from the Chicago wrestling scene. Yes, there it is. Looking great. Look at those guys, dapper as ever. Axel Rico's actually, he's, um, I interviewed him around the same time I interviewed Sky Blue, like around like 2020. Oh. They come from the same promotion. Um, and then he's done a lot of work with AW Dark, a lot of extra work there. And I invited him back on now alongside another veteran in Ricardo Rodriguez. And he's awesome. Uh, he's doing, have you been to a school? Have you been to a school? I haven't, but I know he's got in Pennsylvania three legacies wrestling right now. We got to make that trip. We, I would love to. I would love to because he's everything I heard. He's killing it and killing it. Gracious enough to come on. We did that interview at like one a.m. or something too, because that's because we talk about how busy we are. This guy, one of the busiest guys in wrestling, from what I can see, 
Like he is doing everything. And so, but anyway, check out that interview. It's, it's a really fun one. And uh, you'll see some shorts in the next few days from that. But other than that, yeah. Anything for you guys? Where could we, where should I check out more tantalization? Dude, ev- listen, everything is Tantalize and Tony. Just type in Tantalize and Tony, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, FedEx, UPS, the mail, um, TikTok. Um, we don't do a lot. We have to do more TikToks is our thing, you know? But um, my uh, Tony. I sent this to Tyler. He just said, "How do how do I watch? What should I send him right now to uh, just to um, YouTube?" I will I will send you a link right now. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, I'm seeing it. We got 16 lovely people in here. Hold on. You got it. You got yeah, it. Got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. He'll pop in here probably right away. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people. We still got people watching on Twitter right now too. So we okay. go live on Twitter. And we got people, you can't see what's, and we got a lot, and it's, oh my God. And Instagram, we have a lot of people watching right now. So on Instagram, we're watching, um, wow. I even say hi to everybody on Instagram. Sorry, Instagram, I always forget you guys. <laughs> Wait, you know what you should do? Give, give me a follow on Instagram, because I think I followed you when we first met. But I know, you still, again? I know you still don't use Instagram that much. Rewind, rewind. No, I do, I do. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do it, I can't see. Get my new glasses next week. Thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really mad. My guys didn't subscribe. I'm upset. But they will. It's all good. Counted out. I know is thankful for the two subscribers that they got. Hey, listen. I think I think it's just taking. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Here he is, right there. Huh? There, that my duck. there it is, baby. Let's put it. There it is. We're promoting you, baby. You see that? <laughs> there you go. Get up there. Subscribe. Here's your link, bro. Click your own link. There you go. What's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I told him, Tyler, the best show out there that nobody watches, so we're doing something about that right now. Well, we're going to start watching. We're going to start putting you guys in my link in descriptions, both you guys. Not that I got that many, but we listen, we all work together. Next thing you know, we'll have 10,000. I'll have 10,100. <laughs> You'll have 15 grand, you know? <laughs> you know? Every bit counts, man. Everyone counts, you know? Tony. To, you know, and I don't want to see my own self out here, but I will say something that would be good to end it on is what you said at the big event, which was 2024 is the year for all of us. You know what? And I think we should bring the camera out with Mike and Tyler net too. Let them piggyback. They could get our scraps. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tyler, yeah. Tyler would love some scraps for sure. No, look. No, it's, let me tell you, John, before you go, it was an honor to have you. It, really, it was so much fun. Really was so much fun. Um. I like somebody that knows the business that can talk. We just had a conversation. It's awesome. You know what I mean? This is actually like our first yeah. co-interview, basically. You know, like <laughs> more things to come. This was like a two-hour conversation. I loved it. It was so, awesome. so relaxed. Yeah. You and Jeremy are welcome anytime as well as um, we need a new catchphrase. You, 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 hey, there's only one catchphrase here. It's called Stay Tantalized. You watch yourself. <laughs> hey, Kira. <laughs> um, we're going to go out. You want to take them out? Want to take us out? No, thank you. No, thank you. That, see, that's something. Okay. Here, want to take us out? <laughs> Uh, sure. All right. So thank Jonah, of course. And thank Count Out with these jabronis, too. Thank everybody for coming in. Thank you, Jonah, obviously. Oh, it's country, coming. is it country time? It's country time. It's country time, everybody. We're going to get out country to do right now. That's the round. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. thank you guys for coming into the show tonight. If y'all are new, I hope you guys stay. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're on the road to 10K, on the road to WrestleMania. On the road to WrestleCon, Alicia Fox, formerly known as, of course, her name is Rick Joe Crawford. Tay Liza Tony, I'm going crazy. We got Jonah. We got Carol and Mike and Tyler. We're going crazy. It's hot. I'm hungry. Okay, gotta play video games. Call of Duty, okay, baby. Well, you're the one that's keeping us here. Call of Duty for life. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to all our friends, guys. All of the links will be in the description. You can do that when we get off. Victoria Crow, uh, Crawford merch available as well as Ten Lives and Tony merch available. Wait, oh, wait, do we show that? Hold up. We Goodness we, gracious. Take care of business. Wait, never leave. Wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> the, there we go. Hold up. The merch. Yeah. Hold up a second, guys. There we go. One last thing. You guys don't inbox me for the merch, guys. Tantalizing oh, goes uh, really right there. That's a nice yeah. shirt, too. Tantalizing. Yeah, you know, we, yeah, we went. And just so you know, the WWE logo is not on it. We took that off, of course. We don't want no, we don't oh, want no okay. cease and desist. Right. But um, <laughs> inbox me for details, guys. I got all sizes, kid sizes. We got onesies, twosies, three. Oh, sorry. No onesies? Can we wrap it up? Oh, wrap it up. I'm sorry. Let's go. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you guys. Whenever we see you guys, put on your post notification so you know when we're going live. We're going to be filming a podcast episode soon. Yes. Three, three back to back to back.
Yeah, get ready. Drop the name. I'm ready for that real fast again. What is it again? Oh, it's 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 called Tantalizing um Tag Team. It's here we go right here. Tantalizing Tag Team. Boom. Tantalizing Tag Team. Boom. Right there. Love that. There it is, Dahlia. Thank you so much, Dahlia. The winner of our first ever giveaway, actually. That's crazy. Yes, Dahlia got a got two shirts, a Tantalizing three sixteen, and um one of the Tantalizing shirts you're gonna put on Instagram. We'll put it up. Thank you for sharing that. We do it. We got a five. We got a five star rating. Look at everything. Let's go by EW1 Kicks five star rating five times, baby. <laughs> that is exactly okay. We're leaving. Here. All right. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. Kira's kicking us out. <laughs> do it, Kira. Okay. Is it my turn? No. Make oh. sure you guys hug your families, kiss your families, tell me you love them. Do it too fast. Make sure you guys hug, hug your, your families. families, kiss your families, tell me you love them. Because you're not promised tomorrow. Pray to God every day. Pray to you're God every day. Pray. You're messing it up. You're doing too much. I'm done. Just is let my me show. do it. You let me let do, me do it. it. Okay. Make sure you guys hug your families, kiss your families, tell me love and pray to God every day because you're not promised tomorrow. And as always, do we all do best in that? Stay. Take the bump. Take the bump. No. Tantalize it. Yeah. <laughs>